Hello everyone, welcome to a beautiful Thursday afternoon here in Orlando. It's very beautiful, but it is warm. It feels like it's about 90. I didn't get the real temp in the car before I left. Oh boy, what a day it's been. But let me just start by saying thank you so much for being here. We are going to have a fantastic afternoon together. And this is officially the moment that we are starting our Adventures by Carney meetup weekend. We have a packed schedule. I was just about to post the most up-to-date schedule, but I ran out of time and I had to start the live stream. And also I'm trying to run. We wanted to see Piano Rob. I keep forgetting that he is. So he has multiple shows at Rose and Crown today. For those who don't know, Piano Rob, friend of the show, uh, plays the piano here at Rose and Crown, also over at Pat O'Brien's at Universal. Uh, and he does a bunch. Uh, he plays over at Boathouse. He does a lot of private events in Orlando. The man's a very talented uh, piano player and singer. And he's our buddy. Uh, proud to call him a friend. So when he's over at Rosen Crown, you know I like to go see him. The thing is, well, one, I didn't plan on coming to Epcot today until four. But then when I heard, he said, come for the 2.30 show. I rushed here as fast as I could. And uh, our friends, Pat Mc 75 Rhode Island Ryan, they're both here at Epcot. Uh, and they got us a table to watch them. And I thought he did an hour show. I thought he did 2.30 to 3.30. And then he has other shows tonight. But the thing is, those shows, they have to have a dinner reservation. And we have dinner reservations at Garden Grill. If you've been on the stream before, you know it's, I only have three restaurants left at Disney to do. I've gone to every single restaurant but three. And Garden Grill is one of them. It is a character dining dinner here at Epcot. So we're doing it tonight. I'm so excited five o'clock so that's why we're not going to do dinner at rose and crown but i'm hoping we can at least go see rob maybe watch one of his other shows from the background or the lobby you know see what cast members are working or i'm hoping he goes back on maybe he's on a small break and we'll go back on but we're making our way over there we'll see what happens i'm sorry i really had so much to do today <laughs> because our abc meetup weekend starts today it's crazy and before i tell you all about that let's talk about this dream because you're here now i'm here now first things first if you could please hit the like button it really helps the minute we ever i mean people know if you watch for some reason we got a huge boost from youtube as soon as we cross the 100 like mark i don't know why that is but it just works like a charm. So if you could please hit that like button, it really, really would help. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. When we hit 10,000, we are doing a 24 hour live stream from Walt Disney World. It's gonna be incredible nonstop. It's gonna be nuts. There won't be sleeping. It's just gonna be fun things for 24 hours. So we're really pushing towards 10,000. Uh, if you're on other social media platforms, I'm at official Carney on Instagram at your WTW guy on Twitter. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Adventures by Carney is our discord. Adventures by Carney dot fun, not dot com dot fun is our website and the Patreon couldn't do the channel without the Patreons. You can search on the Patreon adventures by Carney or just go to patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. All right. We covered our bases. I'm still catching my breath. I've literally been running around since <laughs> 6.15 in the morning, nonstop. I have about 185 unread text messages, uh, a ton of Discord messages. So we're gonna catch up on all of those. If you message me, we're gonna catch up on all of those after the stream, but our meetup has begun. So now I'm gonna relax and just have some fun. We got the work done. So now we can play. So let's talk about it. Today, we're going to go in, start right at Rose and Crown. Thursday, fun day. Thirsty Thursdays. Hopefully we can see Rob say hi. I know Pat and Ryan are there. I think Allie uh, from California might be joining us. Brookie is in the park somewhere. 
Uh, Marquita's over working at the expo. So today, this is a run Disney weekend as well. It's the springtime surprise weekend. So if you're over at the expo, go check out Marquita at the KT Tape uh, area. Say hi. Tell her you saw her on Adventures by Carney. So what is this meetup? Well, if you don't know, it's a free meetup. We do it every year. We do one. We typically do them twice a year, spring and fall. The only thing that costs money is if you do the things that cost money. Otherwise, just come hang out with us. I'm going to post the most up-to-date official one as soon as this stream is over. But I'll tell you about it now because it's fun. So whether you're in town, coming into town, or you are sadly won't be here but you want to know what's going on, don't worry. We're going to be updating the action. There'll be lots of videos, live streams, shorts, recaps, pictures. We're going to be going through our Discord for all that. So join our Discord. It's completely free. And again, you can follow me on my socials. I'll be posting a lot uh, on my Instagram, at Adventures by Carney, and the Twitter, at your WW guy. And of course, the shorts will be on YouTube and TikTok. But it's starting now. Let's talk about it. This live stream is the official kickoff for me. We're going to go in, hit Rose and Crown. We talked about that already. I know a lot of people are coming in. That's why I'm kind of recapping a lot. So for those who have been here since the jump, we, we tend to recap a little bit because people are finally in. And again, as you guys come in, please hit that like button. It really does help. So Rose and Crown. Then we're going to take in the beauty of Flower and Garden. Walk around a little bit. See what's happening. Find some entertainment. Look at some beautiful flowers, topiaries. Maybe do a ride. Grab a drink, some food. Who knows? Then, 5 o'clock, we have Garden Grill. My first time going to it. It is a character dining experience. So we're going to get to meet some Disney characters, which is super exciting. Ah, sorry, I need a sip of water there. Ah, it feels glorious. Uh, and then after Garden Grill, we'll see what happens. But we're going to hang out. If you're in town, people I know are a lot of people flying in tonight. If you get in, also Jess Amador might be joining us and possibly Mike as well tonight. Totally forgot. They, uh, they're they going to be joining us in a little bit too. Um, Kenny might be joining us. I mean, there's a lot of people who will be popping in tonight because as people come into town, I think Andrew's coming in tonight. A lot of people starting to trickle in. But we'll be here until park close. I don't know if we'll be live. We were live uh, at Epcot a lot. We've been, we've been here a lot recently. But I thought it'd be fun to live stream Garden Grill. It's a character dining experience. We just did the grand reopening of 1900 Park Fair last week. That did really well. I'll tell you more about that in a second. I can't film security, so hold on one sec. Hit like, subscribe. So I'm not sure again how long we'll stream for tonight, but we're gonna be we'll be hanging out here all night. How are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Oh snap! I like that one. It's a fun magic band. Have a good day. Beautiful topiaries out of the gate, the butterfly, and then the flower garden Mickey behind it. Great photo op over here. So let's talk about the rest of the weekend and what we have to look forward to, whether you could tag along from home or if you're here. So that's the night. Epcot, after night, we're not going to get too crazy tonight, I don't think. <laughs> At least my plan is not to get too crazy tonight uh, because tomorrow everyone can kind of do their own thing, some free time, go whatever parks you want, enjoy your time while you're here at Disney. I have to wake up at 3.30 because I have to DJ and MC a race here in Orlando from 4.30 to 9. Then I'm free. So, I mean, like, 9 a.m., some people are waking up. I'll be free after that. I do have a lot of running around to do tomorrow, so I'm kind of going to get some running around done. Because starting at 2, we're doing a little pool party barbecue hangout over at Disney's Polynesian. And if you want to come to that and you're like, how do I get in, just message us on Discord. We'll tell you, we don't want to just keep publicly announcing everyone's names, uh, who's staying there and how to get in. But if you message us on Discord, you're more than welcome to come join. 
So yeah, we're gonna hang out in the pool. If you wanna come for the later section, we're gonna start barbecuing. Look who it is, Kenny and Mike. I saw your text, and if you said I'd see you here, I did not see it. I got like 200 text messages. I am sorry. What's up, boys? You're great. I love how you got a lot going on. Oh, man. I'm like still mid story from getting out of the car. Uh, there's some people inside Rose and Crown. You want to go say hi? I was actually going to go to Rose and Crown. All right. Well, let's go to Rose and Crown. Everything works out beautiful when you're in Disney World. It really does. It's a magical place. So I'm just recapping some of what the plan is going on this weekend. So, so tomorrow. I'm working in the morning. People can do whatever parks they want during the day. A lot of people are running the race in the morning as well. I'm not DJing and I'm seeing the Disney race. I have another race up the road. But uh, yeah, so then starting at two, we're gonna be hanging out at the pool of Polynesians starting at four. Hey, look, Brookie's here too. Hey girl. This is Mike, this is Kenny. Hello. How you doing? Good. All right, let's see who else we got. Oh, that AC feels great. I promise I'll finish this story soon. Do they clear everyone out? Let me just see. I'm gonna peek real quick. Rob was just right here and we just missed him. Again, I didn't know that he was doing the 2.30 or else I would have prepared or just woken up at 4 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. But I promise I've been hustling nonstop. There we go. Pat makes 75 in the house. I love it. Ryan here yet? I beat Ryan, all right. What is it? What is it? What is it? So like... Oh, this is from the Kava? All right, so I'll talk about it. Why not? Uh, Brookie just handed me, this is paging Mr. Morrow's drink from La Cava. Uh, apparently it's a pricey drink. And it's not to everyone's taste. So instead of her throwing away, she knew to bring it to the right person who would need it. And that's me. Um, let's do that. I'm going to put this down somewhere here. Let's put this. No, I'm going to put this in the corner so we can all be on camera and talk and catch up. We're just getting started. I hear you. You know, a lot of women say that to me, too. You're too strong for me. All right, hi everyone, I'm Pete. Oof. I promise we're gonna recap the rest of the weekend soon, but for now, let's just say hi to everyone. So this is Quick Kenny. I know there's gonna be Kenny confusion this weekend. We have a lot of Kennys. Quick Kenny, rep in Philly. Well, Jersey Philly, a little bit of both. But I say Philly because he's an Eagles fan. Very, very, very much from Philly, uh, like two weekends ago at WrestleMania the entire weekend. There you go. <laughs> we have Mike also repping the same neck of the woods. Uh, Sorry about the actually, Knicks. He actually lives in Philadelphia. Relax. The Knicks are awesome. All I wanted was the Knicks to play the Magic here in Orlando instead of New York. Because like if the Knicks were in the playoffs in Madison Square Garden, you could not get tickets. But here, oh, here, you can walk in for like 30 bucks. It's amazing. Then we have Brookie representing uh, Texas here. And then we have Pat Mix 75 also repping my home, New York. Although he's, I would say, more of a uh, more of a city guy than a Long Island guy. So, the other side. The other way. The other side. The other side of my hand. But still, repping great colors. I'm a Mets fan too. Uh, Ryan's on his way, like I said. Um, I'm going to put this in my bag. There we go. And we're going to catch up with the chat a little bit again. And I'm so sorry if anyone's watching who text messaged me, messaged me on Discord or Instagram today. I have about 200 on red text and probably just as many on Discord and Instagram. I have been going nonstop since 6 in the morning. I swear it's been the craziest day. But now it is time to have fun. So what's everyone else been up to before I talk too much? Ah, I got to the expo. How, did the, how was the expo? Did you see Marquita at the expo? Um, she was taping up. Saw, you know, was, in the middle she's of busy stuff. taping people up. She uh, she told me to stop by. She's like, hey, on your free time today, stop by. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the only reason I was able, able to see her message, she asked me, I guess, when she got there super early this morning. Because she's like, I have this new product for KT Tape for your back. And I was like, that would be amazing. Because again, I'm DJing Friday and Saturday morning. And I'm going to be on my feet all day. And she's like, but it's probably going to be gone by Friday. So you have to come Thursday. I'm like, no time Thursday. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, we landed We landed at about 9 o'clock, unfortunately, so I didn't get, didn't get into the merch shop until 1, and it was just ravaged. Savages, man. The merch shop was already like, got wrecked. There was wrecked. no, like, three, three hours in. Like, uh, no, no pass holder shirts at all. They had a shirt and a spirit jersey all gone. Right. So most what of, we're talking about, everyone, stuff. is the run to the gone. expo takes place over at ESPN's Wide World of Sports. It does open on Wednesday, I believe, right? No, it's, uh, the first day was today at 10 a.m. Oh, I thought it was last night. And yeah. it's already gone. Yeah, so, 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 so you Wow, have, you so it to opened today up. at 10 and it's already yeah, gone by noon. You had to do virtual queue at 8.30. My flight didn't land until 9, so I knew I was already going to be in trouble. you on camera, Kenny. Come on, so, you're yeah. our run Disney expert. And we got, uh, so we got in... We got in at about 1 o'clock and finally got into the expo. Like I said, there was a Kevin's shirt and spirit jersey apparently for pass holders. It was completely gone. It's like it never existed. There was the, the, the four little cast members were just holding like their little magnets. Like anybody wanted to come over and grab a pass holder magnet. Um, all the stitch stuff um, all the, for the challenge, it was all triple X and double, double triple X and above. Whoever did that, thank you. If you hear the bell ring, that means there's someone who's very generous here. Go on. But yes, um, but yeah, no, yeah, I was a uh, double X, triple X, and that's it. They there had, was no double X. So, so, I mean, I could grow so, into this. So those. we had, you, you usually, every race, every race will have two full sides. Uh, by the time we had gotten yeah. there, the one side of six was completely transferred to a run Disney merch. All right, yeah, so again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to translate everything that Kenny's saying. So when you go to the expo, there's a lot of exclusive merch per race. You can get 5K merch, 10K merch, 10 miler, the different characters, the different races, if you're doing all three. But as they run through those uh, specialty races, they just fill it in with like, run Disney, run Disney. So yeah, here we go. So here's your 5K shirt. This is actually really cool. Lauren would love this. Oh, I should have given you money. There's, we, we, you could go another, we could go another day. Because there's plenty of these. Going to go anywhere. All right, cool. So there's the Neverland 5K, which happens tomorrow morning, and the back looks like a this. Lauren loves Peter Pan. And she's dating one because I'll never grow up. <laughs> I mean, that's, no, I'm sorry. Like, I mean it for that. It's, it's my theme for today. I like that a lot. And it's lightweight. The, the, Magic Band. the Lion King one's great. Oh, wow. That Magic Band match is perfect. Did you buy that today? Or no, this, have is, that? this is the Stitch Takes Over Disney. Stitch Cracking Disney. Stitch? Good. Sure, Peter everyone, that Magic Band. That's a legit yeah, Magic so Band. Had, um, Peter Pan Stitch collaboration. Yeah. What? So, yeah, there's the other side. But, yeah, it was, it was the, uh, you know, he went through all the movies and stuff. All right, I don't know what year this is. I normally have a year. Let me just move all my sweat out of the way. Uh, I know they only made 2000. Let's see. If it, oh, the 2020. A year we all want to forget. Uh, this was right at the start of Flower and Garden. And for those who don't know, 2020 was when Disney shut everything down, right in the middle of Flower and Garden. So they sold these right in the beginning. And Spike the Bee, Flower and Garden 2020. Uh, and this is the pass holder band. You see the countries on one side, Spike the Bee and uh, Donald on the other, and the Flower and Garden 2020 right there. That's actually the best Flower and Garden I've ever seen. It's a pretty good one. I have a few good Flower and Gardens. I've stopped buying Magic Bands in the last year, but my first like five years of Disney yeah. fandom, I got any Magic Band that had a special effect on one. This is before they sold like the big, big I don't, Disney Plus. I think they, they ruined it because like Magic Bands were all. 20, 30 dollars. As soon as they invented the plus ones, they basically outpriced themselves and they're so big and bulky. These, like if you got the one that was in the box, so like the other thing is this has a special effect when you scan in or when you do a lightning lane or fast pass back in the day. Um, and they were limited edition, so there's only 2,000. These were like super expensive at $34. Now the Disney Magic Band Pluses, you have to charge, to take out a mortgage on your house. But are you getting all your photos? Of course I get all my photos. The magnets still work. I don't, it, sometimes I don't get them. Oh, I get my yeah, photos. I think they're switching it to the yeah. These, I mean, I know people who still are using the thin ones, the version 2. Because I still have a few V2s. This is the third, and then the next one was the thick, chargeable Magic Band. I will say, it doesn't make any special effects during fireworks shows, but I don't have to charge this. And if you watch the streams, you know, I'll hold off on the phone and gimbal die. Don't give me a Magic Band to charge 2. There's too many devices. The reason I ask that is because last month, my son got all the pictures and we got none. So I wore my normal Magic Band. What was his link? His is a Magic Band Plus, but mine is just a normal Magic like that. Yeah. And uh, I didn't get any photos and he got all the pictures. And you got a link to him and everything else? Yeah. Sometimes the batteries so, do die. So after about, like, maybe, like, 
five, six, seven years, the battery will still do eventually go on me. So if it's really oh, old, no, it's that not really old. It's, okay. it's like maybe. That's peculiar. Yeah, that, yeah. That, as far yeah. as I'm aware, that should happen. And it also, if it scans, it means it's registering it as an acceptable magic bank. If someone tries yeah, to do it with a magic bank, so it's not linked. So if my brother didn't register, my brother either. Thing, but like that touch, from what I understand, like so that's why I was wondering away, if it's the long distance stuff that starts to go. If they're switching, so my brother's ring that they it might be something that they might be. Could be talking out of my butt. My favorite thing you ever. You never know. They, they do switch a lot of things, like with the DAS thing coming out. So you know. Well, I mean, I usually carry several magic bands in my bag, like so much so okay. that the one time yeah. was it Small World. Small World. Small World said goodbye, Kenny, like 20 times in a row. Because <laughs> Who's that? All my magic bands in my bag. Honestly, that is such a fun Everything hack. Everything you just get all the names. Yeah. Yeah. I have the so right. other shout out. Ryan's here, adding more to the mix. Look at this. We have so many states represented here. Uh, we're talking about magic bands. And I got a good one on. I would probably go ahead, show it off, and then we'll talk about the I other funny stories. Yeah. I got uh, my Fantasia Dooney. Yeah, I was gonna say that's Which a Which one's that? That's a Dooney, right? That's a it's still a limited edition. I want that back. It is. How many for me? Tell me immediately. Uh, Fifteen hundred. Ah! There's two thousand of these. I actually Third of me. That Garbage. Back, but you cannot find it anywhere for under seven hundred dollars. The actual like, yeah. Yeah. bag. Yeah. I was gonna say how much fun would it be to go buy a bunch of like cheap magic bands, and since you know they all go off there, is just be like Adventures by Carney, Pete Carney, like, subscribe. I just want because he went through Small World with a bunch of magic bands in his bag. He's like it kept lighting up with his name. Like, <laughs> like, like what if I just bought a bunch there was, there was of cheap, cheap magic bands? So there's three on each side. That's what I'm like saying. Six times. And I name one of them like one of them subscribe, one Adventures by Carney, one Pete Carney. <laughs> One thanks for yeah, watching. Yeah, you order it, it does. It makes some of the sound like you're like, describe uh, like. Uh, it's fine. One of them says like, one of them says like, come to the back of the boat, like just some yeah. fun stuff. Yeah. Come to the back of the boat and subscribe. <laughs> it sounds dangerous. I'll show you the like button in the yeah. back of the boat. I love this song. You know, any of those things. Please remain seated. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> uh, all right. I forgot what the other story I was telling, but it doesn't matter. We're going to try this drink. We're going to try this drink. Here we go. So this is the Paging of Samara drink. What you know what's in this? What this is? Uh, it's the Old Fashioned. Paging of Samara Old Fashioned. Paging of Samara Old Fashioned. He got his own drink over at La Cava. And I saw some of you in the comments, and I love it, wrote, uh, for those who don't know, I do have my own beverage at Walt Disney World, too. You have to go to Animal Kingdom to the restaurant, the Soros Lounge, get a Pete Margarita. It's a real thing. Just say Adventures by Carney or Pete Carney Margarita. You'll get hooked up. Christian and Jimmy both know how to make it now. It's awesome. They're fantastic people, too. Anyway, everyone said, Pete, you're a tequila guy. You got to get a drink. So we're going to work on that. But right now, Paging Miss Tomorrow has an old fashioned at La Cava del Tequila. And also, La Cava and I have the same birthday. I feel like they totally should have a Pete Carney drink. Anyway, I should be asking you. They open on August 29th. I pop out of the womb on August 29th. All right, let's do it. It does have a very interesting, it's like a peanut butter and jelly nose. It smells like peanut butter and jelly and I don't like peanut butter and jelly, but that's right. All right, not bad. I get a little bit, uh, a little bit of smoke and sweet up front. It is, but did this come with ice? One big cube. Okay, one big cube. So I will say it does taste like the ice melted, which is better for me because I don't drink a lot of old fashions. And also, Ryan was there the other day. We had a ridiculous old fashioned over at the Swan and Dolphin. The, the one day, two days ago, yeah. The one with smoke, it was insane. It came in a box, you opened it up, in smoke in came into your face. It might have been the most delicious old fashioned I've ever had in my life. It smelled incredible. Even Marquita, who's bougie and like, it's okay, was like, this is really good. <laughs> All right, this isn't bad. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't like peanut butter and jelly. And to me, it tastes like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know why. Like, is there? A, I'm curious what's in it. No, I'm trying to make my fans better. Anyone, you want to try it? Anyone want to try it? You can. All right. Well, then it's just me. What is this? The pretzels, the covered pretzels. I don't know what this is. It, yeah, it feels like a what are the 
you know, what, piece of wood. No, no, no. What are the, you know, like the insects? The Japanese tree sticks. Oh, hockey. Hockey? Uh, it almost has the consistency and feel of hockey. Anyone want to try the stick and try it? I can't. You want to put the stick in your mouth and look at it? I don't. Are you sure that's edible? Are you sure that's not just like a stick that you got on the ground that might just be for It's a hint of bamboo. No, it no, it definitely is edible. I'm or over I have the strongest teeth that. ever. I was at the dentist for three hours yesterday. These these teeth better work. I went to the dentist for three hours yesterday and asked me how long I actually talked and saw a dentist. I would say twelve minutes. Twelve to fifteen minutes. That's how long. They usually get you out there. I have to go back again. They're going to knock me out. And I told them, what's wrong? I just want to make everything right. Teeth. I don't understand them. No, apparently, like my molars and the teeth back here uh, have started to cause me pain. So, like, preemptively, I'm going to get them checked out. These x rays are like, yeah, you might need like a procedure if you go to like a different kind of dentist. I guess they don't cover it. Like, the dentist Dental like, surgery is like, now they, different. I really hate yeah. the tears. So then I go to this other dentist. Again, it was a three hour ordeal. Oh, maybe more. But. I have these thing where they have to like shave something and then maybe extract something and then fill it with something else. It's just starting, luckily, but like they want to do something that costs money. Oh yeah, it costs uh thirty five hundred bucks, and my insurance covers half of that. So I told them they were like, "So do you want to do it uh, next week, week after?" I'm like, "I'll call you. Don't call me." What else are we talking about? I'm just going to get through this because I don't know if I'm the biggest fan, but go. Come on. It's watered down. It's an old-fashioned. That's what it's like. It's watered down. Oh, there. It doesn't count. Only me. If if an that, ice cube melted down. No, everyone watching would know if this was a true old-fashioned, like, without water, and I did that, I would be making... He would be crying. I'd be crying. I don't do old-fashioned. That's how you know it's a little watered down. But I also wanted to start the day with a party because it's the Adventures <laughs> by Carney kickoff to the weekend. Yeah, this is the pre-show. It's the pre-show to the pre-show. It's Thursday, and I only know that because I've been doing things. I know your son. <laughs> say he's aged. I know he's a mustache. He's eleven. Grew up with a mustache. Woke up with a mustache and aviator. His hair's almost as long as mine. While we're here, I, I want to get everyone else in. I don't want to exclude everyone here, but let's do. Is anyone getting a, a beverage or a drink here? You guys want I'm still, I'm still processing through my Sunday. Okay. Well, also you're both running tomorrow. You're both doing all three races, right? Yes, that is correct. All right. We just so you know, we have, we are about thirty k more than I will be. It's a lot of k's. It's a lot of k's. But we will, part of our Adventure by Party Meetup weekend is celebrating the finish line with you guys on Sunday. That's what I was talking about. I'll get through that. Is what is on the schedule? So the official stuff, right? Tonight, come to Epcot. We'll be here to close. Tomorrow, have fun at any park you want. Everyone do your own thing. But starting at 2, I'll be at the Polynesian. We're going to have a little pool party, hang out. Then we have Master Grillers coming in and some amazing food. We're going to be barbecuing at the Polynesian from about on the flight. Yeah, they're in flight. Um, Daniel has his coolers packed. Yeah, Brian and Brandy are coming down. And Robert D messaged and called me and says, I am not supposed to come. I was gonna surprise everybody with an extra special treat. I'll just tell everyone it's kind of ridiculous and I'll still mention it to them. We haven't confirmed this because I just found them about an hour ago. But it's like, I wanted to bring a lot of large lobster tails for everyone. I'm like, we're just barbecuing at the Poly. It's a hangout. Like, burgers, dogs. And then, first of all, I know it's not going to be that because Brian, phenomenal Brandy's husband, is going to be bringing some legit meat. Uh, Daniel also does some some great stuff. We got some great sides coming. But uh, I did call Robert. He's, he's busy. He's working. That's why he can't come this weekend. But he's like, if you can get the lobster tails, let me know how much. Bring the lobster tails. So we may have lobster tails. But we're doing a barbecue. So pool party's like 2 to 4. Barbecue's like 4 to 6. 
I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to do a little presentation. There might be some games played. It's going to be a really good time. All are welcome to the Polynesian. Then we're taking... Uh, yeah. So we're going over to... The contemporary for our fireworks crews, as they make fun of me, I'll just keep going. Uh, we're doing, we have two boats now, we might need a third boat, who knows. But uh, fireworks crews out of the contemporary, that's gonna be amazing. They take us out, we get to cruise around, we're, we're allowed to bring our own coolers. So we'll be drinking, we'll have some fun, you don't have to drink. Running shoes are away for the running. Yeah. They park the boats, uh, you can play whatever music you want as you cruise around, we'll see the electrical grid. Then they park you in front of the Magic Kingdom for the fireworks at night. Then when that ends, we will dock back at the Contemporary. We're going to walk over to Bay Lake Tower. We have a lot of DVC members with us. So we're going to go to the Top of the World Lounge, which is a special treat, a special bar just for DVC members. So we're going to go hang out out there, have a little after party at the DVC Lounge. And then from there, people can do what they want. I'm going to try to call it a night there because I have another 3.30 wake up Saturday morning to DJ another race that day. Uh, that night, yeah, as I'm waking up, you will be leaving your resort. No, I'll already be there. You'll already be there. Your bus is like 2.30 or something. Again, I work from 4.30 to about 9.30. Yeah, you'll be done. I'm emceeing a DJ 4.30 to 9.30 in... I know Friday morning is close to me. It's over at Gaylord Palms. Saturday morning is in Claremont. The, their Earth Day run. After that, everyone can kind of, Saturday is again, just kind of a fun day, but I think everyone is coming to Epcot because it is Dapper Day. You don't have to be Dapper, you just have to come hang out. Everyone's going to be doing their thing. We're we'll probably do some group rides, some group shows, but we are going to meet for a group photo around four-ish. And then anyone who wants to come in, we still have a few spots left, but I think right now we have 15 to 20 people-ish going to Tudo Italia for a family Italian dinner uh, at Epcot Saturday night. After that, I you had to do this when you said Italian. Hey, <laughs> when you're at Epcot, or well, you're Italian, yeah, you're Italian, or your family, you can use anything here when you do this. And then after dinner, we'll probably hang out around the World Showcase. We're going to do the last plain white tea show at 8 o'clock. From there, we'll move the whole group to a good fireworks spot. We'll do a firework viewing. And then Saturday night could get crazy. There's been a lot of plans from Atlantic Dance Hall to Jelly Rolls to kimonos for karaoke or all of the above. I know some people have to run the next morning, so they're going to be busy. But I have committed to being at the finish line. Sunday morning, we wake up. We're going to go celebrate the runners from 7 to 9. Everyone, again, can do their own thing, take parks, do naps, whatever. But then we're meeting up at 2 o'clock or 1.30. I say come a little early. Fantasia Gardens, everyone is welcome. It's the mini golf course here on property, right by the Swan Reserve. The third annual Adventures by Carney mini golf tournament. It's super exciting. That's going to run from 2 to 4. But again, get there at 1.30. Everyone's invited. You don't have to sign up to show up. Uh, that possibly may be live stream uh, on... Daniel's channel, uh, the Tomorrowland Traveler might live stream that live coverage. We'll be live throughout the weekend whenever we can. After that, half hour to shower, change, and get over to Typhoon Lagoon for the Run Disney Splash after party at Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, the party is what, 7 to 10 or 8 to 11? Uh, 7 to 10? I know it's a three hour event. Let's find out. You guys find out, but all I know is whatever time it starts, they let you in at 5. So we're going to get there at 5 to get a good spot. We have everyone hanging out together, and then we're going to party from 5 o'clock until either 10 or 11. After that, I thought that's where the weekend ended. Nay, nay, Monday is Earth Day, and you got to go to Disney's Animal Kingdom on Earth Day. It is their anniversary. They'll be turning 26. It's when the park opened on Earth Day, April 22nd. So we're gonna be doing a live stream from Animal Kingdom Monday for Earth Day. We'll hang out there all day. And then Tuesday, do not try and contact me. I will be in a coma. I'm gonna do about- text feed every five minutes. It's fine because my phone will be in a drawer in the other room uh, underneath a pile of clothes to be folded. I'm just kidding. I love laundry. My clothes are all folded. Uh, you don't fold your clothes, you hang up on your t-shirts. I hang up my t-shirts, I fold the rest. <laughs> and then, yeah, so non-stop fun. Who knows what Monday will turn into, and that is the full recap. And if you're just joining us, hi, we are Rose and Crown. I'm Pete Carney. I got a bunch of friends here, rookies here, repping Texas. We got Pat Mix 75 representing New York. We got Rhode Island Ryan representing Florida. Yep. I just thought that would be fun to say. 
<laughs> and then we got Kenny and Mike up in the same neighborhood, up in Jersey and the Philadelphia area of Pennsylvania. And who know who else is gonna show up? Oh, Mike and Jess might show up tonight. Maybe just Mike. Maybe just Jess. Maybe both. Who knows? It's a mystery. Uh, the Tomorrowland Traveler arrives tonight around eight o'clock. Kenny Holland arrives tonight around eight o'clock. And I believe a few other people coming in tonight as well. So who knows where the night will take us? I will say tonight we are not staying live all night. It's going to be a very busy weekend, but I'm going to take you live as long as we can. The big reason is that I've done every restaurant on Disney property, resorts and hotels except for three. One of my three is Garden Grill. When Pat Mix 75 swam out of that lagoon and booked his trip to this meetup this weekend, he said, we got to do Garden Grill. So he booked a reservation, so we're going to go to Garden Grill and we're going to live stream it. It is a character dining experience. I know people love the character dining. We just went to Tiana's, uh, not Tiana's. Yeah, we went to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We, we took a trip down Diana. Oh, by the way, you're going to love the ride. We did a preview? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, we did 1900 Park Fair where you can meet Tiana, Aladdin, Cinderella, and Mirabelle. We did a live stream and a short here on the channel. People loved it. So we're doing more character dining. We do what the people want. And you know what I would love? Perhaps you could say once, if you could hit the like button and subscribe. We're trying to hit 10,000. 24 that? hour live stream. What was Garden, what was Garden Girl? Was that, was that when we were all done marathon? Yeah, they freaking called me up and canceled. No, 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 no. When we last went. I'm no, telling you, I'm telling you, happy story. Don't care. <laughs> Mike, this is a positive chat. Any so, story that starts with they friggin', you gotta so, take a breath. So we got, um, we brought, we brought all of our medals, which had a lot of. Like, so we had Mickey and Minnie. We had John Dale. Um, Pluto. Who was our little, who else did they Why do you think about this? Everyone knows Kenny runs a lot of Disney races and has the greatest run Disney medal collection ever. And also because whenever he comes, he runs all of them, is he gets all the challenge medals as well. And also just did the Coast to Coast Challenge this year, January, with the Mike. challenge called this time? Uh, this, this weekend? Yeah, it's the Stitch. The Stitch Ohana Challenge. And his favorite, Stitch. So, he had to do it. Yeah. And all the merch, gone. <laughs> I, I had to go shove my stream in my face. Yeah, but, um, so yeah, we had uh, so the Chippendale medal from the 10K. We got pictures with Chippendale at Garden Grove. We got also different from the Chippendale races that may have been run in the 90s. Keep going. But yeah, so um, you know, we, uh, Mickey. I saw that Mickey. Saw that documentary. We got, we got the 5K. <laughs> he got Farmer Mickey. Yeah, Farmer Mickey. Farmer Mickey. Yeah, Farmer Mickey. Also, I know for a fact this will happen, so I don't have to ask Kenny. But Sunday. Either me or Daniel will be live. So we're going to be doing live coverage from either my channel or Daniel's channel. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to have all your medals displayed. So you'll see all the medals from this weekend, including It'll the challenge nice medals. Velvet bag. He has actually, beautiful actually, velvet bags. Actually, wait a minute. Development. Because we both got 10 medals last time, I never re up So I'm out of the velvet bags. Because we got 20 medals last time. So I just used the ball. That's all right. What are you going to do? I don't know. Probably have an anxiety attack, but we'll get through it. Individually oh. wrapped up in t-shirts? I have a better idea. We go to one of these expensive Disney stores. <laughs> or a shop. How no, many medals are you getting? No, just something that normally they would wrap in like real something fancy and we get a four, sheet of that. We buy four bottles of Crown. <laughs> okay, sure, we could buy it. Look at this, more states being represented. Coming in hot from California, Alicia. Matt Alexandra in the house. We all of Ali, you may have seen her on WWNT. Or we were together on Park Center uh, a week ago. We got Last, week, yeah. Last week, I don't know, I have no concept of time. <laughs> Yeah, I have no. It was that literally last week. It says Thursday. <laughs> we'll go with that. I'll get the expo. That checks out. So um, in case you don't know everyone, Allie, this is Mike. This is Kenny. This will be a few Kenny's this weekend. We call him Quick Kenny because he does all the races. We have sort of like you. You two should have like a medal off. We keep in touch. We're good. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I love that. I know, but I kind of love that. I was like, you guys should be friends. <laughs> So now I'm happy. Uh, Ryan, you might remember Ryan, and then Pat, we call him Pat Makes 75 just because that's what he goes by on everything. And there's a lot of lagoon jokes, but I love Pat because Pat is also from New York. He's also a creature of the Pat Lagoon. Yes. Everyone loves Pat from the Lagoon. Still going strong. Where's Ron? I know he's. 
Rob was trying to get back in here. He said he has dinner too. I know. So we might try to hover for a 4 o'clock, uh, which starts in about 15, 20 minutes. Which, by, if I do catch in with the chat or we do a few drinks, we, we'll be fine. We'll see Rob for maybe the 4 o'clock, but you're, you're supposed to have dinner reservations. We have a dinner reservation that for us. I think we can creep in. We'll just creep <laughs> Or see if we make a last minute reservation and then anyone who's not getting dinner with me and Pat will order one appetizer and split it and a bunch of beers. Oh no. Yeah. Oh shucks. I love this. So much fun. Just people randomly coming in. Boom, 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 boom. And then Brookie's in the bathroom in Texas. It's the only other person who lives in her name is Brookie. She's a Texas Floridian. She lives in Texas, but she lived in Florida for a little while. Now, one of the things you'll love is last week, I had to explain to many people the idea of a beer run. Because we're running into the second section of the Saturday afternoon. Wait. On the AC Beer Fest. So I'm also going to be confused. Yeah. First, we're going to talk about the AC Beer Fest. But when you say beer run, are we talking like a 5K beer run? Or are we talking about like, I gotta run to the store? Are you talking about a beer run? I run to several. Like, like we're hanging out at a barbecue and someone's like, I gotta make a beer run. You started doing it, it's back, they brought it back to inside because before COVID they had, had inside beer runs. They're still doing outside stuff in the summer, but they attached the run to the indoor ones that they're doing this year. So at 10.30 we started at the Atlantic City Convention Center our toast and first two yeah, like two ounce shops. Okay, I like it. Um, we then ran up towards the boardwalk. We went to the one beer garden, second beer shop. Coming back around to the east, uh, to the, uh, the old school convention center where they have Miss America and stuff. Table set up, third beer stop. We go down to Tennessee Does Avenue. Does Miss America serve any of the beers? Tennessee Avenue Beer Hall. What is she even representing? Yeah. But yes, uh, six total yeah. It's Miss America, but from. Uh, I'd also be okay with that. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, no, yes, but yeah, six, six and one total start and end at the convention center. You run in. However fast you get it, you start at 10.30, Brew Fest starts at noon. So however you fast you do that, you, you become a VIP at that point. And you start at Brew Fest early. Me, I wanted to take a breather because I actually ran a little bit. I, was I, was say, like, uh, I, uh, I would want to be the first one into the beer festival, so I would run, but then I would feel awful. Uh, you can watch a, uh, a YouTube video of the man who uh, holds the current world record for beer mile, which is, what is it? so you, you drink a beer, and then you run a quarter mile, and then you drink a beer, and then you run a quarter mile, uh, six minutes and 36 seconds. I can't do that on roller skates. I was going to say, I'm good at drinking beer, but I'm not good at running. Yeah. If there was a contest, and again, if there was a good runner, they could probably beat me, but let's say I did the first inaugural, and then someone ended up beating me in the second one, fine, is if we had the World Showcase, where you would just stop and take a drink somewhere at each place in the World Showcase, as fast as you can around the World Showcase, which is a mile and a quarter, I feel like I'd be pretty good. We do want to bring back, and we're talking about it, um, Andrew and Annette moved back in about a month and a half. The last time they were here, we did the Every Beer in the World Showcase Challenge, including all the festival booths. That was a wild time. It was a wild time. Um, we got through around 55 beers before we had to turn off the stream. I finished it. Others could not. But I will say, it's not as if you had 55 full beers throughout the day. Disney pours you sometimes just five ounce pours because it was festival booths. And we said if you ordered a pint, you were allowed to split it five ways. So basically, you, you had to do at least five ounces of every beer. So still impressive or problematic, depending on how you were raised. Uh, but we made it. We're still, talk, still talking in the, in the, in the, in the more 40 bottles. Oh, we yeah. crushed it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Um, I feel like, should we hang and wait for Rod to come back at 4 or just 15 minutes from now? Or should we do something else? 505. I also have Guardians now. Oh, you can go. I can't take the stream on Guardians. You can go on Guardians. 
I don't want to do that. It is like a garden. I just know that if I take the streamlined guardian, it's gonna. I mean, it's deep space. <laughs> it's hard. Like teleport you. But we have plenty of videos and shorts of Guardians of the Galaxy here on the channel. By the way, if you're just joining us, we're hanging out with a bunch of friends. Uh, we're kicking off our Adventures by Carney meetup weekend. We are still going to do a 505 uh, Garden Grill, a character dining experience for dinner. But we'll be hanging out at Epcot from now until then. Hopefully see Piano Rob play a little bit here at Rose and Crown. We're hanging out at the Rose and Crown Lounge. That's why it's loud. There's excitement. And we have a bunch of people from all over the country here so far, and more joining throughout the day. And some late-minute surprises that are joining tomorrow. Also, we should show up your shirt. I love the show Welcome to Wrexham. It's on Hulu. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Uh, if you've seen Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, and if you've seen Welcome to Sunny and many other shows, Rob McElhenney bought a soccer club or a football team in Europe, the Wrexham Football Club, and they have the world's oldest stadium. You know enough. What does it say? It says Wrexham for life. No, come on. Wrexham. Wrexham. What do they, they say? Right? See about Cup. <laughs> I'm trying to think what they chant. That's what it says. Wrexham is the name. That's what they chant. I don't know if they say it all the time. I don't know if it's part of the chant. I don't know. You suddenly like the show. I love the show, but I, first of all, I also don't speak the Welsh language. Uh, but you don't look at this awesome Welsh? shirt. Yeah, so after that, decide what it is. Oh. Let's get a hand on Good choice, Mike. So how is, let's go around the circle before I catch up with the chat. How was your trip been? You came in from California when? Yesterday morning. And how was yesterday? How's today been? It was good. Did Animal Kingdom yesterday and then something else I'm not going to talk about yet. Later. Okay. Um, and then this morning I went to the expo and I got trash. So uh, just for everyone who's uh, curious, not many people go to the expo to get trash. Uh, but that is fun. I just kept drinking. I don't know. No, I, I got all my stuff. So I support. Good. You're on vacation having a good time. I'm it's a 5K tomorrow, then I'm going to walk. The last time we had to an expo together was long enough ago that I drank. Did you get trash? We had, we sampled all the beers that they were selling. That was true. We did do a full beer sample. Yeah, but like, we did sample like three or four. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, I could drink a bajillion beers and be okay. You start introducing a little bit of alcohol, and here comes Pete Carney. Beer is water. Why is it a high tolerance? I... So I went to a school where my fraternity only allowed you into parties with craft beer or imports uh, back when I went to college, which was very limited. So you, you weren't allowed to do it with Bud Light, Miller Light, anything. Yeah, it was weird. It was like the opposite of all the fraternities. Like, so we're playing drinking games with like, uh, and at the time, Blue Point Brewery, they're now in 50 states, Europe, and everywhere else. But they were a tiny little brewery next to our school, four miles, not even, four minutes from our school. So we go there, we'd be having like IPAs, like ESBs, uh, pale ales, and we would be using that for like flip cup, beer pong. So I developed the tolerance very early, and then I worked for a brewery for many years. By the way, Rebecca Dolan made a hilarious bingo card in our Discord, and we're crossing so many of them off. They go, Pete mentions that he worked at a brewery, cross off this square, which is hilarious. Like and subscribe is the middle square. I'll send you the picture. It's the who's, funniest who's thing ever. A, who's got a color printer? We can print a bunch of them out. For it's great. Shout out to Rebecca Dolan. She's amazing. Who made the bingo card for a live stream. But uh, yeah, so then I sold beer in the five boroughs of New York City and Long Island for a long time. So my job was to taste bar owners on craft beer from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So beer I can handle, but it's when you mix in that other stuff, that's when we get loosey goosey. Water. Water. So now everyone knows everyone. I'm so excited. 
All right, let's. I'm gonna do a quick. Uh, Kenny's over there. We're gonna do a quick catch up on the chat because it might involve all of you. So, if you have questions for anyone here, please feel free. I don't know any answers. You know all the answers. Also, I know we're on our way to over 100 people watching, but we need 100 likes. That is when the magic happens on YouTube. So please hit that like button. We're only 20 away. Do it. I love that. I used to do that too, and I loved it. I used to hope that Tom used to go into the WWNT YouTube, look at past like videos just to see that all my... No doubt they do. If you don't know about WWNT, they're the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News. And uh, Allie works for them. She covers almost all of Disneyland, I feel like. I'm pretty sure. I know there's other people out there. It's a lot of Allie. It's a lot of Allie. And you may have met her other half, Kevin. They actually got married here in Canada at Epcot. And guess who was there? This guy. What a fun day. All right, let's see what everyone's saying. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Uh, first of all, big shout out to Colin C. Says, uh, check, he's checking in from New Hampshire. Allison B. Says, I'm home, but I'm watching Epcot. Andrew checking in from Boston. Says, packed and ready to go to Walt Disney World tomorrow. He arrives tomorrow. Pat makes 75. Is here and in the chat. It's amazing. Thank you. Who poured this? It's a good look at half and half. I just went to. I just went to a. Uh, where was I? I can't check text. Oh, so did Ali text me, but I had. I said I was here. Oh, I can't check text while I'm on a live stream, people. You gotta become friends with one of my friends and text them to get to me. Yes. So I'm passing on the information. Okay. Uh, she's not going to make it here by 5 p.m. Alright, so we'll see you after 5. Yeah. Okay. I said I would like to Rob starts at 4 in 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, I love you. Thanks a lot, Allie. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I feel like Allie and I have so many fun drinking stories here around the parks. And now that we're getting older, she's like, you know what, Pete? Forget you. I want to see Rob and everybody else. And the other Rob's coming tomorrow. White time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. We're going to see so many people. Let me continue with these shout out and see what else uh, conversation this brings up. Because this is a good group for tangents. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, Allison, home in time to check out Epcot. I love it. Andrew B. Romaro. Love to see that. He is running the races. The Welsh Dragon is one of the most popular drinks here. It's that green drink that Allie's about to have. Uh, Lynette and Bill are back home. They were just here at Disney. said, already missing Pete, everyone. I'm missing Disney. We're missing you guys. Love you guys. Also, I should say this as well. Friday. That's what I did. Friday. Are you leaving? Oh, yeah. No, she gets. How is she cold in here? This is so nice. Uh, either Friday or Saturday, we're doing our second annual Shoddy Awards. That is the supporter slash helper of the year. Uh, and it's a shoddy award. It's nothing fancy. It's just me recognizing people who have been so awesome to the channel last year. And every year we do three new people in the spring. Last year was our inaugural year where we uh, recognized Bill and Lynette, who's here in the chat. Uh, phenomenal Brandy. And uh, also the Tomorrowland Traveler and Tori. Uh, they're all amazing people. They're still... Uh, top-notch supporters and amazing about them. I don't know where the channel would be, but this Friday or Saturday we crown three new winners to be very excited. They're shot. That's why you can only join once. Yes, you only can get it once. I can't keep giving the award to the same people. It'll be new people every year. Uh, and I just love that because I wanted to figure out a work like a way to say like I'm recognizing you, but I'm sorry for this shoddy or this like ridiculous yeah. award. So it's the shoddy award. It's shoddy. It's just like Fat Cat. Yes. If you don't know what Fat Cat means, and again, because I don't want to be offensive, it's Pete has outdoor. Oh, Pete has activity time. Pete has activity time, and then it's cardio at many or multiple parks. Multiple parks. It's Fat Cat. 
Oh gosh, what is happening? All right, we'll keep catching up with the chat in a second, but first, cheers. I know, but I'm afraid of the Fat Camp t-shirt. The next t-shirt is the Epcot, is the Rush Epcot. Oh snap, Kevin jumping in. I love when people make their uh, significant others log into the chat, it's so much fun. Because, uh, Was I don't, you hinting at me to go yell at Mel? I mean, you should, but I mean, I Jess, does it, Jess does it with Mike. Uh, <laughs> she's at work. You know how many people are at work watching right now? Thanks for watching from work. Aloha, there we go. There he is, my man. Kevin, check it in. Aloha, which is weird that he's saying goodbye. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Just don't say Ohana. <laughs> no, well, are we not supposed to say that we're all Ohana? I'm all leave y'all behind, but I thought it was the Ohana Challenge weekend. Yeah, we what does Ohana really mean? <laughs> we don't talk about it. It means family, but Disney just continues to use it over and over oh. and over again. Yeah, I was, just kind of a... Sleep dog. I mean, Fast and Furious, Vin Diesel pulls up, Ohana. That many miles? I was afraid you were going to tell me Ohana didn't mean family because I was like, you know how many have female friends I have to call to have their tattoos removed? I have seen so many Ohana tattoos. Kevin just wrote, no Ohana. <laughs> Alright, we'll get back down to Kevin in a second, but I have to catch up with the chat. The noodles are good. And for those who are wondering, you can get those noodles at the Tambu Lounge if you can't get into Ohana. They're slightly different. You have to ask for the Ohana noodles. If you get the noodles there, they're slightly flavored differently. You What's the same kitchen? Other, it is, but they flavor the noodles differently for the lounge. All right, so you have to ask for Ohana noodles. I did not know that, and now I don't know which noodles I've had. Have you been to Ohana? I have. Have you been to I have, but I didn't know to think or about the difference. I was like chatting, Were drinking. You drinking at the of course, we had so many drinks that night. <laughs> that night, the night, the, night, the, the first night. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if any of these people will ever watch this, but the first night I ever went. No, this is not true. All right, there was a night I was at Tambu that we didn't go to Ohana, but we ordered a bunch of appetizers and uh, MK, who a lot of people know. Uh, the Rocketeer lady. That was nice. She introduced me to, uh, uh, they've been on the stream, Ray and Hamilton. And that was the first time I ever met them. And we shared a bunch of apps. Lauren was there. And then we went from there. We went to like, Disney Springs. Uh, it was the craziest night. We went from a Hawaiian drinking experience to Raglan Road. And we had an Irish drinking experience. They're very similar. It was one of the greatest nights of drinking ever because everybody was just on board that tonight's the night. We should all have some drinks. Culturally and complexion. <laughs> Hit all the bases. Very similar. Hit all the bases. I have to talk over this conversation quick because they are having a good time over here. Uh, where was I? We got to catch up. So many men are you wearing? So what time are you going to the Xbox? Um, we had 13, so my friend picked me up at 9.30. Well, yeah, they were just complaining about the Expo. Did they have any pass on this merch other than that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I grabbed like the last spear jersey in a normal size. What was the spear jersey? The spear jersey was. Oh my god, it's was, so cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm so like angry. The whole thing was gone. Rub it there in your face. There wasn't. Yeah, all they had was magnets. It's, it's crazy that people this, have to get so, this was the roots front. to the, buy the racks were down. And then the back. Can we show everyone? Hold on. Let me show everyone. So this is the springtime surprise spirit jersey. Yeah, I can get a pin, a shirt, a spirit jersey, or the magnet. All they had was a magnet. No more pins, just magnet. Virtual keyword. We didn't land until 9 o'clock. Because I have a friend Embrace the adventure and then Disney springtime surprise weekend. Yeah. I can't wait for them to go up on memberships. I need to get into oh, that club. Oh, it's going to go up for sure. I need that club. Please change the membership agreement. Oh, Ramona. Rob. 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 You got to come give Rob. a shout out to everyone. Jesus. Rob. You don't have to work or anything, right? You're not busy, right? I don't know if you know this. We put you in our thumbnail. I bought you Star Wars tickets. Oh. Come say hi to your coworker Rob. and your friend. I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. I don't know. I'm so mad at Mr. 230 Shaw. I walked in. Yeah, I walked in at like 301. And I said, I don't care who stops me, I'm gonna charge this place like it's a concert. 
Did you ruin your no, no, no. Let me interrupt. Everyone's great. Um, yeah, I just said on your first song, we're just going to walk in like we don't know we're not supposed to walk in and just hang. And I was like, if we have to order an appetizer and a beer, we're going to do it. What should I request? British music or anything? Okay. Well, I'm saying, you're what? You start at 4 or 4.30? Oh, so it's not crowded. Let me see how crowded it is. No, no, I mean, like, they just start dinner. Also, do you know, this is just a me and you kind of thing, because I know you went to Billy Joel's 100th, and I'm so jealous, and I've been there a million times. Have you learned to turn the lights? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe we have to do that. All right, I love you. See you later. Sorry I'm getting you in trouble. We love Rob. We've been, we were talking about you. Go see him here. Pat O'Brien. I just want to say I've known Rob going back to when he just was playing back at uh, well one he was doing uh, it's weird to see Rob without smoke machines around him yeah. <laughs> well he was a, that's 90% yeah. of the time when I see him he was We're a featured player in Jelly Rolls for many years before the pandemic uh, going back to Hell of the Moon in downtown Orlando and now he's crushing life he's doing uh, weekly shows on WWNT he's here at Rosen Crown he's at Pat O'Brien's at Universal he is at um, Boathouse on the weekends doing brunch and dinners uh, depending on the weekend and I'm, I'm so happy to see his success and we're going to hear him in the background but you know what let's talk over it we're not allowed should we get a table and just order like an appetizer and have some beers there's no one here I, I feel like you just asked to see if you just get a walk-in. Walk look at the room. There's nobody there. Hey, can we have a table for at least warming up? Do you want to have a shit? All right, we're going to have to do it. He's going to try. Shout out to Pat Big 75 for trying. He was really young enough. I, still I was so jealous. I'm, uh, I'm a huge Billy Joel fan, and so is Rob. And he went to the 100th oh, show. Let's see who else is here and say hi really quick. Great to see Peaches. Yeah, really hard. Actually, that would probably fix me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Traveler here in the house. We've been talking about him all day, but go follow the Tomorrowland Traveler here on YouTube because I already said he might be live streaming some of our events this week when I'm not live streaming. So you definitely want to go follow him. He also has a great website. Look to Marlon Traveler.com. He's a travel agent, a live streamer, a great husband, father, a dog parent, and just a great person. I guarantee you'll like it. He's just like a friendlier, fun, awesome. He's a better version. He's definitely, he's amazing. Go, go check him out. Hi, Jason Rogers. I was gonna say, I thought we moved out the same year. Yeah. We both came down in 2019. Yeah. We're getting a reservation to go sit by a table. How was yeah. the heat? I just moved down very early. Oh, we're gonna get a sit down spot. Uh, let's see what's going on. Eddie Davenport, what's up? Also, happy birthday, Eddie Davenport. Recently turned 19. We didn't post it publicly, but uh, I shot him a little birthday message because he's the man. So happy birthday, Eddie. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Ghost Host. So great to see so many people here. Shelly is in the house. Uh, Ali, Mark Mueller, Lynette. We said hi to Lynette. Love Lynette. But we love Bill and Lynette. Captain Kirk is here. Captain Kirk, Lady Kirk, and the whole Kirk clan. We love them all. Goat official says I was a kid in the yellow that you met a couple days ago. What's up, goat official? Byron Miller says uh, I hit the like. Nice job, thanks so much. We're only three away from a hundred, so if everybody hits the like button right now, we can pass a hundred. That would be amazing. That's when the magic happens. Thank you so much, Bill, for the Venmos to get the party started. Uh, Mike Greeny says I should be able to feel pressured to play the instrument because of his first name. That is hilarious. That is such a good comment. And I will ask him after the show. Rebecca Dolan checking in from Texas as well. Uh, Andrew knows that Pat Mix 75 is getting a reservation. He's definitely representing the Bud Light. The man loves his Bud Light more than anything. 
Keanu Rob was here in the chat. I didn't even see it. I was, he was in the chat. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Fifteen. Oh, we'll be there real fast for that. Are they, they're gonna text you. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be good. And even if it is fifteen minutes, he plays for thirty. We're good. So we're still gonna get to see Piano Rob. Nice job. Happy thirty-five. Happy thirty-five. Hey, look, it's ready. All right, we're going in. We're going in. Look at that timing. Uh, while he actually, while he goes and checks in, I'm gonna stay here and just walk this way. Yeah. Hopefully, it's an inside table. Uh, hello, Alex A. Oh, I didn't realize Piano Rob was in the chat saying hi to everyone. I said he's the man. He's awesome. Rebecca says, also, we did not get all of our pictures on the match event, so you have backup. Rebecca says, when she had the old advent, she didn't get all of her pictures either. Ah, I gotta talk to, I'm gonna talk to guest relations about this. Yeah, see what's going on. Hi, Adrian, great to see you. Jason, great to see you. John Thorne in the house. Shout out to the whole Thorne fam. How is the Thorne family? How is Kate feeling? How is Peaches feeling? Rebecca, how are you doing? Let's get some check-ins. Let everyone know everyone's good. Awesome, those good ones. That's mine. I don't care. Yeah, just play that. Why? You don't want people to support you? You're going to have an awesome time. Well, some people get weird about their numbers. I don't care about it. Oh, I don't. I mean, you wear it publicly. I'll go like this. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But here's the bib. Oh, it's right there, too. But oh, awesome again, time. it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, well, I'm again, the worst. As, as I said, I don't care. Um, He's one of the nicest people on the planet. <laughs> how do you not love Kenny Soraki? Absolutely, track me. I'll be going really, really slow. Anthony Makuto says you got to do some car bombs. Well, here we call them Dublin drops because it's offensive to say car bombs. <laughs> but we haven't done them yet. But maybe, maybe we, we will. We don't talk about the troubles. We hit 100 likes. Thanks so much for hitting the like button. Let's keep them coming. Great to see Alex. Oh, Alexander's here. What's up, Melissa? Is our group? Is that our group? Yeah. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Bill said, Pete, can you pick me up at Valley Forge? A little out of the way. <laughs> Anthony, I agree with you. Says it's illegal to stand at Rose and Crown without, drink, without taking a sip in this amount of time. So, cheers. <laughs> Once it hits your lips, it's so good. Bill D says, Guardian Girl is my favorite breakfast character experience. Wow. Again, we're crossing off one of my... I only have three spots on Disney property left that I have not had food at or dined at. Garden Girl is one of them. We're doing it today at 5.05, which is fun stuff. And I, yeah, I get to watch Living with the Land because it's a slow moving restaurant and that's what you look at when you're living with the land. Uh, where else was I? What's going on? I don't, I don't want to talk over Rob when I'm getting here, so... Let's see, let's see... Uh, Andrew says, Pete, if I sign up for the race in Claremont, can you pick me up? Sure. You just have to show up uh, an hour and a half early, like me. Because i got to set up all the gear and equipment. But it's going to be a beautiful morning. Come hang out with me. You can do a little stretch. It's a beautiful area. I'll pick you up. I'd love to have friends there with me. I might make... Oh, here's our table. Let's go. Kenny Holland staying with me this weekend? So I don't know if he's coming to any races with me, but... Let me turn this this way. Oh, wrong room, Pat. Come on, work your magic. We know this guy. He's pretty shady. Look at him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We also came for Piano Rub. Yeah, I did. Are you live right now? I am. I'm Jennifer Caruso. How are you? Jennifer, tell everyone your channel. It's nice to meet you. Same here. That's my team. Jennifer Caruso? Yeah. So J E one N or two N's? Yeah, two N's. And C A R U S O? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Any space or underscore? Yeah. All right. So there you go. We like to plug everybody. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I just wanted to, everyone to know that there's another nice person here. Jennifer Caruso, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Gabrielle. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired of these races. Oh, inspiration. Yeah. 
It's a good table. I know. We're gonna we're gonna go show. It was choppy the entire time. Thank you so much. That's when I tried to catch up with him, and there was no stream to tell me where he was, but I did it anyway because he had to run to his car. I'm gonna go show Rob, but nobody wants to split an item. I'll split something with somebody. Of you and me. Yeah, yeah. Woo. I'm the flavor player for Rob. We got to hype him up. Yes. I'm just the hype team for Rob. I wouldn't do this Let's go. If you're not aware, this is Billy Joel's brand new song. Drop this song. Rob already knows it. <laughs> but I'm here right now. My gosh, piano Ralph Volpe, unbelievable. <laughs> so good seeing you. I just gotta creep over here, Rob. I don't get in trouble. 
It's a brand new Billy Joel song that just came out this year, which uh, Rob learned immediately, which is pretty cool. So Rob here in this room does take her quest. A lot of Disney hits, and of course, piano classics. Tiki Man fans, it's great to see you and Jennifer Caruso bringing the music on a great day in the park, I agree. We're here at Rose and Crown in the dining room. Our buddy Piano Rob crushing it on the keys. We do have a table, but it's on the other side of the restaurant. So this is a better view. If you could do me a favor, I would love if you hit that like button. Do it for Rob. Forget me. I'll ask for favors later, like, subscri like subscribing. Ah, you could do it for me, but... Also, if you want to follow Rob, he does it all. Piano Rob, just search it on Instagram. I think it's piano underscore Rob. He's on everything, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. He plays here at Rosen Crown. He plays over at Pat O'Brien's at Universal. And he's on uh, WWNT's uh, Thursday night shows. He's a busy man. And the boathouse on the weekends. And private gigs. Bump, bump, yeah! Woo! Yes! Does anyone have any song requests? Maybe we can get a song request happening. Rob also formerly played at Jelly Rolls here on Disney property for many years, too. That is where we became friends when I was a Jelly Rolls addict before the pandemic. These are all oh my friends while Rob's playing. You're just joining us. Well, I, I'm claiming that you're all oh my friends, but we have Ryan, Brookie, Kenny, Mike, Allie, and Pat all here hanging out. Multiple states, a lot of different friendships. This is fun. I'm, I, I can't eat too much because I'm going to dinner with Pat in an hour, in 45 minutes. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I just came back to make sure the orders were good, and then we're going to go back to recording more of Rob. And then uh, we're going to do dinner at Garden Grill, a character dining experience. You get to meet all the characters. We'll give you a food review. We'll hang out over there. Um, so where I'm, I'm good for the time meeting with the Where is the Ted Lasso? Is that I was eating just now? I'll do, well, I'll do uh, half and half. Anyone? Anyone want to put any food or drinks in? Well, my man Joseph is here. We're saying they're from Scotland. So, you take the two last one. How far, like, what do you say between, like, what, like, what kind of job is it? That seems like the place to be. 20 minutes between. Two awesome cities. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The, the, the park is right there. Like I said, the, the video, the video that I took and stuff like that. Um, 
Uh, if my mom was here, she would be here. A scotch egg. My mom loves a scotch egg. So here at the Rosen Crown, I'll show you a little bit of the menu. They have a scotch egg. For appetizers, scotch egg and a coronation salad. Their signature favorites are the fish and chips and the shepherd's pie. The entrees are the bangers and mash and the savory impossible hot pot. Dessert-wise, they have the sticky toffee pudding and the plant-based seasonal gelato. They also have a non-alcoholic specialty drink, uh, which is just Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade with cotton candy flavoring in a character cup. So, I don't know how that is. It's fire. And then the other side is all the booze. So that's it. Simple, very simple menu here at Rosen Brown. You come, you listen to piano. You're at a pub. You're at a pub over in the UK. For those who don't know the way they came up with the name Rose and Crown when they came up with this pub, is they looked up all the names of the pubs throughout the United Kingdom. And the words Rose and Crown came up the most. So they decided to call this place the Rose and Crown. And right around the corner from where that is. They do have some great, um, from what I'm told, I'm not the biggest whiskey scotch uh, bourbon guy. But people that come here go, they do have some pretty good whiskeys. They have Oban 14, Lagavulin 16, McAllen 12 and 18, Glen Kinchy 12, Johnny Walker Blue. Uh, and they also have flights. They have a single malt flight. They have a Johnny Walker flight. They have a McAllen flight. And they have an Irish whiskey flight. I'll tell you what's in them. Irish whiskey flight, Tullamore Dew, Jameson and Bushmills. The McAllen flight is you get the 12, the 15, and the 18. The Johnny Walker, you get the black, the gold, and the 18. And the single mold flight is the Glen Kitchy, the Oban, and the Lagavulin. They also have wines, they have a sangria, your non alcoholic stuff, uh, lots of beers, some signature drinks as well the Indigo Hibiscus, Sleeping Leprechaun, Welsh Dragon, Cider and Fire. And then besides the beers, they do their own beer blends. Uh, they call them the pub blends. So, like, you can get a Shandy, which is half harp, half Sprite. You can get a cider and black currant, which is a cider with a shot of black currant juice. The Bombardier and Guinness is half Bombardier Amber and uh, Guinness. The Snake Bite is half cider, half harp. The Blacksmith is half Smithix, half Guinness. The Half and Half is what I'm drinking. Half uh, harp lager, half Guinness is delicious. Don't believe me? Go ahead and ask those dishes. The Black Velvet, which is half cider, half Guinness. The Irish Hen, which is half uh, Old Speckled Head English Pale Ale and half Guinness. The Golden, half Lager, half Bombardier, Amber. And the Golden Fox, which is half Speckled Hen Amber and half Bombardier Amber as well. Uh, they also have the wine, so a very sense of, it's a pub, right? So when you come here, you're not like, wow, what's up with the food? It's the Rose and Crown pub. But you do get live music like Rob, you are in the water for the fireworks tonight. There's outdoor seating out of the water, both behind me and on the outside of the bar over there. And where we started this craziness, uh, we were in the lounge area, which anyone could walk in and out of. However, to be back in the dining room after 4 o'clock, you'd have to have a reservation or a walk-up reservation, which we got because it was so busy. Let me just show you how busy it was. There's literally three tables in the dining room. Three tables in the dining room. But since I'm a big baby, they put baby in the corner. And I still, to this day, don't know that reference. <laughs> what is that reference from? Dirty Dancing. What is it? Dirty Dancing? Wow, I should watch Dirty Dancing. I know the dance. I watch a lot of movies. I watch, I know, I do know the entire dance from Dirty Dancing because when I was pledging my fraternity uh, in front of a thousand people, me and my fraternity brothers had to reenact the entire Dirty Dancing. I had to be Swayze, my fraternity brother had to be, uh, who was the other one? Who was the actress or the character? I agree with him. I don't know. I'm going to go with Baby. Baby? Yeah, Baby. Uh, Baby? <laughs> yeah, she was yeah, the corner. She was like an 80s. <laughs> like Olivia Newton John? Like, who are we talking about? No, that's Grease, partner. Well, I was Swayze. She was in Ferris Bueller. Oh, wait. Well, the sister. Bueller. She was I, guys, here's a fun fact. I've seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Whoa! I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag, but I've seen it. Pete, you've seen a movie? I've seen it. Oh, wow. How many times? I'm pretty sure once. When? How many years ago? Uh, I think it was like one of those days where like on accident I skimmed past it. It was just starting and I'm like, 
everyone talks about Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I have to watch it. Mm. And I watched it. And it was a good movie. I was sad to see the car drive out of the back of the garage. <laughs> Spoiler alert, in case anyone out there is like me and still hasn't seen. That's it? Gosh. I'll, be I'll be back in another half hour. Oh, jeez. What a little teaser do you give? Rob, you know we had to get a whole table just to come in and see you because that apparently was, the dining room is so busy. That's a lot of scotch eggs. It's a lot of... <laughs> and, no, so and, and we have eggs. a garden grill reservation in 45 minutes. Oh, sorry, no worries. Full no, she had a she had a name tag on, so I don't yeah. know. I hope we didn't get Rob in trouble, but if anything, we got him a table of seven in an empty dining room at four thirty. And bringing money. Yeah. I just want to know like how that conversation would go, and I never want to get Rob in trouble. They're like, hey, listen. <laughs> Stop telling your friends to come and not ordering food. People need these tables. And then he goes, have you seen the room? Yeah, like, what But you tables? can't say that when you work at Disney. So you have to be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, look. It's the Tottenham Hotspurs. Did, yeah, oh, the Hotspurs. Did, uh, did anyone order a single food item? I did. All right, so we ordered some food. See, uh, which one did you get? You got the Scotch egg? Yeah. He I'm was good. just joking about the scotch eggs. I want to see the scotch egg. The scotch egg here is a golden fried, hard-boiled, cage-free egg wrapped in sausage with a mustard sauce. And by the way, if you were ever looking for the most elongated way to talk about a scotch egg, they did it. Like, you could have just said, like, it's a fried egg with sausage and mustard. But it's a golden fried, hard-boiled, cage-free egg wrapped in sausage with a mustard sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah, if it's great, right? Right? if it's a shade yeah. past golden. Yeah. yeah, if this is like a bronze egg, you gotta send it back and say, I didn't order the third best egg. Yeah. If this is brown. I ordered a golden brown. And this has clearly been bronze. <laughs> I don't think I gave. I, I, this is like the paranoid person to me. We're like, I'm like, I hope I didn't get Rob in trouble. But like, if anything, we've got a table because of Rob. And we will be out of this table before anyone needs it. I don't think that's what was happening. I know. But also, and I, like, I didn't give any sass over here either. Here like there was a server that got mad because I sat in the corner. And he's like, we need you to move for this table. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, And I was like, I just sat here. He's like, you need a table to be here. I'm like, oh, we have a table. I just came here to see Rob. So I sat here for a minute. And he's like, you still gotta move. I'm like, all right, I'll just go stand in the corner. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like I don't belong here. But the spot I was sitting in is still, still empty. empty. And the tables to the left and right are still completely empty. Also, he's not playing anymore. <laughs> so you would have been gone by now. Do you think it would be funny if I just went and sat there anyway and just stared at the piano? <laughs> that would be. Yeah. And you're like, what are you doing? I'm here, I'm here for Rob. <laughs> I'm getting B-roll. We're shooting a documentary. I can do this. Watch how much fun this is. Um, if, maybe if I would have done this and showed it to them, they would have been okay oh, with it. You would have put the 1920s filter on? No, you got to put the documentary filter on. Like, hey, <laughs> we're here at Rose and Crown. All the way down. Oh, yeah. wait. Well, actually, oh, you can put it in front of me because I have the video at first. <laughs> the camera does eat first. I got to turn off documentary <laughs> mode first, though. golden. It's golden and cage-free. Hold on. Whoops, that's not it. We're back. I don't know. There's no cage. There's no cage. Yeah, it's been confirmed. It does, I mean, let me just check. It does seem to appear cage-free. <laughs> it is a nice golden brown exterior. Again, keep in mind, this is a $13, $13. scotch egg. $15? $15? The times, they are changing. Uh, golden fried, hard-boiled, cage-free egg wrapped in sausage with a mustard sauce. How many... Because you've been cooking this hard. Yes. How many scotch eggs do you think you could make for fifteen dollars? <laughs> a lot. And also, and also, I could buy eggs anywhere, but I don't keep any of my eggs in a cage either. So technically, all my eggs are cage free. Yeah, that's why I keep my chickens. <laughs> but I do like that the chickens are running wild. All right, let's get the review. How do, Are you a scotch egg fan? So we know, like, if this review, or is this like your first time? You're just going for it to try something new? Okay, so here we go. For every year you've been gone, it's 
a dollar. So here it is, fifteen dollars. Scotch egg, the re- official review. Uh, this, is this is exciting. Here we go. A little bit of that mustard. Oh, it's got a good nod. We'll give a minute to digest. I don't like when people watch me eat either, so I'm going to put it over here. We'll wait till he's ready to talk about it. This is this is a meal, though. I don't think you want his review. Uh, Why? I, I call him a meal because he has no taste buds. You have no taste buds? He, he, he'll, just, he'll say it's good. It's like a gift and a curse. You're missing out on so many delicious foods, but also you could eat anything that's cheap. I eat so healthy. Yeah, like, imagine all the salad I'd be eating if I had no taste buds. My, my, fav- my favorite joke is when they have the, um, the, the apple seed orchard or whatever over here the one year. And we go and we have... Oh, we have a, that was fun. Well, we're just discovering that he has no taste buds because I asked for a review. But I'll taste it and I'll let you know how it is, Joseph. <laughs> Text really fine. Yes. So, I mean, like he food, seems happy. We got, we tastes got the, like food, like, he we said. We got the cider. Uh, All right, I'm going it's back to you. Wasn't beer. No, it's cider. We're trying to figure out okay. what Okay, so draft. we go back Scott later in the night, and he goes, what's the one I liked? I said, okay, well, this one, I forget what the quality was. I said, the other two, there's one that was like this and one that was sour. Which one did you like? Which one was sour? And from then on, he's been a meal because apparently he doesn't know what sour tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. Right, we'll allow it. Yeah. Which one was sour? I was like, all right, I can't help you though. I love it. I'm gonna give him like a lemon head and a mint later on this trip, <laughs> and just be like, here you go, and see if he notices the difference. Or if he's like, oh, this is good, and I taste so fresh. I'm like, that's a lemon head. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna keep upping it to like, uh, what's the next one? Like a cinnamon, and then like a warhead. Yeah. yeah Do they still make a, warheads? You can give them a Thank Mike you. and Ike um, and a, uh, a red hot 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 hot. Yeah. For the experiment. But how do you deal with hot sauces? Do you ever do like hot sauces? And it doesn't bother you at all. All right. So you got to be like Carolina well, Reaper. It's, his, his palate is just not refined. That's well, fine. it's because. Okay. Capsation like isn't isn't a flavor. It's literally a sharp molecule. Yeah, it's, you know. Capsation sounds like something capsation. would say on the campaign trail. Capsation. Like you know, we need to end this capsation. Yeah. Capsation <laughs> is literally like sharp molecules. That's why it hurts your mouth. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it stabs you. Really good. Wow, Mike's saying it's oh. really good. The buds oh, are blooming. blooming. Rob just texted me, but I have to look at it really quick. The taste buds are blooming. Oh, no. Back. Sorry about that, everyone. I just uh, that I have a quick conversation with uh, Rob. We'll talk about it later, Rob. But anyway, thanks for here hanging out. Um, if you are excited, you want to see more fun stuff that involves food and beverages and Disney characters, we have a 505 reservation at the Garden Grill. There's only three restaurants on property that I've not had any food at, that I've not eaten at. And this is one of the three that are left. So it's going to be down to two. And this is thanks to Pat Mix 75 who booked it and was like, Pete, what is the two? you got to come. So there's only two on property left, Artist Point and Topolino. And I know everyone loves Topolino, so I know I have to do it. Every single, I haven't met a person You're who hasn't said Topolino. Wait, he's never I know. But I've been to every other restaurant on property, every Disney park and resort. It's fantastic. I know. The problem is they opened it after I ate at every other Disney dining restaurant. So I was out of money. If they would have opened it sooner before I spent all my money on these other meh restaurants, then of course I would have gotten the Topolino. It's really good. Honestly, a lot of the food at Disney is very good. People ask me all the time, Pete, it's like theme park food, theme park food. And as someone who grew up going to like Six Flags and Adventureland and these other regional theme parks, the food here is very good. The other thing too is that magic, magic, mag, magic, is that Magic Kingdom, although they have some good options too, is still a little theme parky. Epcot and Animal Kingdom is some of the best theme park, or not even theme park, some of the best food you'll get in the uh, Lake Buena Vista, Bay Lake area. It's very good. These are foodie parks. So we're gonna go try Garden Grill. I've never tried it. People have said good and bad things. I'm pumped. I haven't been there. When was the last time you were there? It's been a long time. So I was like, oh, I'll just. Book this Are we one. saying over ten years? Yeah. Over ten years. Have you ever been? Yeah. Many when, times. when have you? When were you there last? 
July or August. Okay, so you've been there in the last almost a year. I've been there in the last year. All right. Has anyone else eaten at Garden Grill? How was it? I have not. Well, you have. What do you have there? And you, we're doing dinner. Five, five oh five. It's family style. Yeah, it's family style. style. So like, there's no buffet, but they're just gonna bring us a bunch of food to the table. Bring us a bunch of food, and then if you like food item, and you ask for more, and they keep bringing it to you. I'm excited about this. Forever and ever and ever. Just keep forever. Get it. Get our money. And ever 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 and we have a power four, so Pat, Ryan, Brookie, and I are going to do that. While Allie, Kenny, and Mike enjoy Epcot, then we're done. We're all okay, going to enjoy Epcot together. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how late the stream's going to go for. We are here at Epcot a lot. And I uh, do want to spend some time off camera with everybody, but we're going to be live on and off all throughout the weekend. So make sure you're subscribed, that you got that bell on so you don't miss any of it. There may be a lot of last minute pop up lives like we got to do this. This is fun and crazy. Brandy is wheels down. Brandy is touched down. Good news. That's what I'll do while we're here. while we're here finishing our beverages and scotch eggs. Uh, we'll we'll get moving. Oh yeah, you got the new guardians. All right, so. I was gonna just go hang out by Garden Grill. Yeah, we can hang out by Guardian's Grill. Guardian's Grill? I was going, I'm not going to lie to you, if you guys were going to run to Guardian's, I was going to do a ride almost just as good. Living with the land? Living with the land. We can see the <laughs> and then I can see where we're about to go eat. I can see Garden Grill. Also, we can show you the first floor. You could see your food develop as you perform. Yes, I can see where my food comes from before that. The history of your salad. Can we please go do Living with the Land? We're doing that That's next. Doing. So unless you have a Guardians, two people in our group have Guardians, the rest do not. And, are gonna go and we're all going to go on Guardians. Can we make yes. that and we're I have a Tron, Tron. Tron, what a silly ride. Yeah, My group is expired. You want to go on Tron? What? My group is expired. You'll be okay. Yeah. So it's for okay. everyone who has a boarding group of exploration, just be nice to catch. Yeah, that members most of the time, and you'll be okay. All right, let's see where I left off because I know there's a lot of chat that I haven't given the proper attention we'll just to. Go up and walk. so let's do that. And thanks everyone who hit the like button. I love it. We'll make that it really we'll make helps. It so if you haven't done it yet, that would be awesome. And please like subscribe. We're on a rate of ten thousand subscribers. Let's make it happen. We're doing a twenty-four hour live stream when we hit ten thousand. We're gonna have to set a date for that because a lot of people are like, I wanna be a part of it some way, somehow. So once we get close, we might have to start set like a date. Okay. We'll see what happens. That's long, right? It is, but I feel like it's gonna be right. So we always do a spring and a fall meetup. I feel like it's gonna be right around the fall meetup anyway. But we'll see, we could gain a lot right away. Steve Brownlow says, hey, from the UK, a shame you're not in actually England, UK. We could share a pint together. Well, here's you, Steve Brownlow, drinking in the actual United Kingdom. Ah, uh, to Steve, to Steve. Yeah, you just got back from there. Ah, uh, yes, cheers, cheers. Here, here. No, it's called a half and half, because it was through half and then half. Is that the real reason? No, it's not. Are you sure? It's Carney's reason. We probably should ask for the check, huh? Yeah, we What? Did I meet Mc Mc Jagger? No, I ordered a beer. That was it. Do you know Mc Jagger? I'm trying to block this light because it's messing with the stream a little bit. All right. Sorry you're gonna miss living with the lamb, but enjoy Guardians. Enjoy. Let us know what song you get. We will. We will. And I ride. Oh, good. So she has to come back? Yeah. Excellent. I should have kept. Give me your jersey. <laughs> no, you don't want to wear that trash. You have some stamps. No. The Mets, quote unquote, trash you're talking about is my team, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I feel sorry. It was my very and first baseball Knicks game as a little kid. Like, the Knicks are in the playoffs. Sox? The Jets, as of right now, are healthy. Uh, the Jets are a team. The Jets are still in the NFL. Haven't been voted <laughs> out yet. And the Knicks are in the playoffs. And then Islanders, and Islanders are, they're always a wild card team. They could be great. They could be terrible and really good. You got the best checking line ever. We'll give you that. But you're a Mets fan. You're in the state of Massachusetts. I don't know. To be honest, in my entire life since I've been born, I'm pretty sure the Mets and the Islanders have had the most success amongst the Jets and the Knicks. Have just been for so long. They have. Yeah, like, I grew up during like their best time. They still didn't win any championships, but like when like like Ewing, Starks, Anthony Mason. Uh, don't look at me for a name of a basketball. Player. No, no, no. no. Um, I'm trying to think because they booed him, but now we love him again at the game, and I'm just it's, I'm blanking for a second. James. That was it. He played, yeah, way young. We had him as a three year old. It was so exciting. Hey guys, we got a super chat. Yeah. Eddie Davenport, the Bro. birthday boy, 19 years old. Look at that super chat. Thank you so much, Eddie. 19 years old. Only two more years until you can enjoy a happen. I did. Uh, he was. Uh, so some people may or may not do this. I do little birthday messages. I loved doing it for Eddie because uh, he's just an awesome guy. Uh, actually, in my birthday message to him, I was like, hey, I hope you're excited to lose on Monday night because the Islanders play the Devils and he's a big Devils fan. Um, <laughs> but he's a, he's a Disney Parks fan. He's a Star Wars fan. He's a great person. Uh, also, the nephew of Vince. And if you don't know Vince, Vince is our channel sponsor over at SJG3 Collectibles, an amazing collectible site. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit on the walk. I don't wanna to do too much now, but you should definitely go to eBay and go check out SJG3 Collectibles. You're talking Disney, pop culture, autographs, 80s, 90s, everything. They had a store for 25 years and guess the positive feedback rating? 100% positive feedback over 25 years. That's, That's literally insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Like literally a troll could buy a collectible troll and leave a bad rating and they don't because he's 100% awesome. He probably gives that troll something awesome and then they're like, ah, I gotta love this guy because he's fantastic. 100% positive feedback and this is the kind of sponsor that we're so excited about. So go support people who support the channel. SJG3 Collectibles. And also, yeah, we'll talk more about them later on, but also they're on Twitter at SJG3 COO. All right. Or, oh, why do you want to bring back to the Knicks? No, 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 we can't bring it back to the Knicks. I guarantee you that you can get some Knicks memorabilia. Oh, for sure. For sure. They're based out of Jersey, so we all know Jersey. No, I was going to say something mean, but I love Jersey. I actually have a lot of family and friends. We all know Jersey. Jersey. The turnpike smells really bad the first few miles. Well, that's why they call it the armpit of America. All right, I'm done. I can't say anymore. I mean, that's just a fact. I'm just kidding. I love just Jersey. Only the turnpike does, and it's because it, we go through an industrial area. Also, I spent most of my formative years in Atlantic City, so... Most of New Jersey smells great. It's just the first few miles. It's actually called the Garden State, and this is Flower and Garden Festival. Yeah. This is the New Jersey Festival. You, did you grow up around a lot of gardens? I mean, I grew up in Philly, but... I know, but you always went over the bridge. You are right by Cherry Hill. You are right by yeah. uh, Egg Harbor Township over there. Does Cherry Hill have a cherry garden? Do they have... Yeah. I don't, they I, honestly, there? I don't even think there's a hill in Cherry Hill, yeah. to be honest. Huh? I, don't I don't know anything about, about it. But it is called the Garden State. Yes. Like New York's the Empire State. Yeah. Who knows why? The law, Cherry Hill. And the greatest story that ever happened happened in that Okay. You want to hear a crazy story about a kid running in a mall? Oh, it's actually, it's very is it appropriate? It's very is appropriate. it family friendly? Family friendly. Will, will it will public. it inspire someone to hit the like button? Yeah, maybe. All right, so go you ahead. Do you remember In Living Color back in the eighties? I do remember In Living Color back in the eighties. So me and my dad's friend, we were meeting up to go to the mall. What we didn't know is his son stayed up watching Killer Clowns the night before. Oh, I know that from a scare zone. Yeah, so basically he watched that in Killer Clowns. It's the 80s and Living Color Clowns. Okay. So he calls All Clowns home. Is this, you're sure there's a family friendly story? Yeah. Okay. So he calls All Clowns home. So basically we're walking in the mall. Now, there was a McDonald's at this point. And it had a statue of Ron McDonald waving. Okay. He's, the, the kid stops dead in his tracks, looks at Ron McDonald, drops his bags, turns around, and starts running, screaming, Homie's going to kill me. Homie's going to kill me. I'm pronouncing what you're standing there, like, what is going on? I do like that. That is good. 
Yeah. Uh, for anyone, for anyone younger than us, you have, you might be a little confused, but that is very funny. Well, did you ever did you watch *The Living Color*? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's different. I didn't watch *Living Color* or *Killer Cops*. David, wait, was a clown. Everyone knows the expression "homie don't play that," right? Yeah. That comes from *In Living Color*. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That was All right. Well, there you go, and that is your mic moment here on the stream. Uh, I do want to say Andrew C. wasn't signed up for the uh, a race on Friday or Saturday morning. I don't know which one. But now he signed up for the Claremont race. So I have, I'm going to drive him, and you're going to see me DJ and MC, which means you get a special shout-out when you cross the finish line. And I'm like, check it out. It's Andrew. What do you want, Boston Drew or Andrew C.? Or just want me to have some fun with it? What's going on? Clara Murphy, great to see you. I guess we have to get a, we'll get a check and get out of here before we get in trouble. Again, what's going on? He says, I'm in for it. Yeah, oh, we should hustle up. They're, they're definitely going to be late, but we'll check in for them. Also, I don't like saying this, but it is true. Disney will give you a 20-minute window on most things, whether it's a dining reservation, a return time for a ride. 20 minutes is that secret number where you get a little bit of uh, forgiveness from Disney. So if you're running late, don't freak out. If you're going to be more than 20 minutes, you do want to contact a cast member and let them know what's going on. Uh, thank you, Peaches. But I won't. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this weekend. I think we're having an amazing uh, ABC meetup weekend. I just want... I, a lot of people know this. But I feel like I have to make up for last year. Like, last year I was a little distracted. There was a lot going on in my life. Uh, my dad... For those who don't know, my dad was not in a good state and ended up passing away the week after but we thought it might happen the week of the meetup so i just wasn't always here and present so that's why i'm really excited for this weekend because as far as i know no one in my life is dying so i'm gonna have a great time <laughs> as far as i know i mean please don't spring it on me now yeah yeah <laughs> wow that's dark um John Thorne, John Thorne says I'm walking, I'm watching at work. Thank you so much. I love that Kevin is still here. Love that. And just I wish I could use my own putter, but I'll use the courses. Yeah, you got to use the ones they give you. I'm not bringing any. We're not bringing the Scotty putters. Use the one they give you. I say it would be fun. That means you can't use a two foot putter. Yeah, or we have to line up six putters on the ground. And then we randomly draw one at a time who gets what, and you might get stuck. A scramble style. A scramble for the putters? Yeah. I'm into it. Paige Carr Hamilton says, hello, I'm coming to Disney next April for my 30th. Hopefully you do another meetup for the same time. Look at that. Yeah, we typically do them in April, the spring meetup, and we typically do our fall meetup in like September, October, November, somewhere around there. So uh, yeah, it's always great to see so many of you. And we normally start planning the next one as soon as one ends. So we don't have dates or plans for the fall meetup yet. Right now we're just focusing on the fun for this weekend. I do need to go to Ohana with you, Kevin. So yes, please, can we go to Ohana? Come out, hang out with me. Can we bring Kevin back out, please? please? All right, Ali says it's okay. I wasn't sure if Ali, this was Ali's alone time or not, so I had to ask her. No, he should be here, because me unsupervised is not good. You see, Kevin, I'll watch her like a hawk. Look at this, empty glass, quick, get a drink. Is that the kind of supervision you're looking for? Nope. Uh, Lynette Piano uh, Rob does look very dapper when he performs. He is in his uh, UK best. Uh, my friend said Piano Rob looks hot, by the way. So. A lot of people love Piano Rob and his locks. I don't know since he had short hair, but now he's got the locks. Yeah. He used to have the old the cut that was popular back then. What would you call that? Just like we used to all do it like that. I kind of do it like that when I'm in a rush. Oh, he, uh, no, I saw him with longer hair than that, with shorter hair than Oh, I saw him like very tight. Uh, As a matter of fact, Rob and I hung out at the last WNT meetup, which was the 30th, and now we're at the 35th of uh, Hollywood Studios. There's, 
Oh, yeah, it is a family stream, but I get it. You're from Philly. He doesn't have the switch. I just have adjectives. It is hard to turn it off sometimes. I Lauren, I finally got to stop cursing, but then she started reading uh, Andy Priscilla's book, and there's a, or audio book, and there's so many F-bombs that sometimes she doesn't even realize she's doing it. But she stopped cursing for like two years, which was crazy. And all of a sudden, she's like, when is this laundry going to effing finish? I'm like, Lauren, what is going it's on? And she's like, it's audio. the book. It's the it's book. It's not the book. It's Burn Boot. Do they curse at Burn Boot Camp? I don't know. No. It's just an action. I'm just uh, trying to make any excuse for me to not also, have to go there. Also, just so everyone knows, um, a lot of people call him back, you know, Piano Rob. We call him Back Scratcher Rob, and that's a deep cut by Bill D right there. Uh, right now, we are at Rose and Crown. We're going to head towards the Land Pavilion. Hello, Misty. Great to see you. Hello, Jeff. Thanks for hitting the like button. Really appreciate that. Thanks to everybody who's hit the like button. It means a lot. Uh, yeah, I also have the devices to send you money. Venmo. I have all the things. All right, I will pick you up, Andrew. Let me know where you're at, and I'll tell you what time. Text me, though. Don't put it here in the chat, so I actually have a record. Send it in the chat, so Pete has to scroll through seven hours. No, I won't have it. The chat will be gone forever. Also will disappear. Sure. Yeah, send a super chat with where I should pick you up at one time, but then also I won't remember, so then send a regular... No, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll just... Send a super chat so everyone will know where you are. Uh, Tiki Man fan, what's going on? Great to see you. So it's great seeing you and Jennifer Caruso. Yeah, so Jennifer Caruso is also streaming live. Uh, she's also... Uh, I guess we, we cross live streams uh, today, but also both big friends and fans of our buddy... Pete McDevitt, who has a great YouTube channel as well. I love that Piano Rob played Promise from Illuminations. He knows that I love it. He played it, and I tried not to cry because I love it. That's how I test if I have a good, like, Disney person in my car. If I ever, like, have someone who says that they're a big fan, I'll play a little bit of Promise, like, instrumental. And if they don't recognize it, I'm like, okay. I know what's going on here. Uh, Pete just says, you forgot the night at the campground, Pete. Where we had Allie, Kenny, Jess, Mike uh, for the Wine and Dine weekend. Yeah, that was a wild night. We had a lot of fun there. Uh, Mike and Jess's private fireworks spot. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were there for that, too. I just pick you up and take you places. I'm like, come with me. Allie does what uh, yeah, everyone exactly shouldn't do. Involved, like I'm so here for it. There's going to be some Fort Wilderness involved. Uh, So here for Fort Wilderness. Apparently, we have a cabin and a campsite for next weekend, which is and this weekend. Oh, okay. Because so next weekend, you want to make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on. It's Hallow Spring at Fort Wilderness, where they do halfway to Halloween. Everyone decorates their campsites. There's a parade. They go all out. So if you want to check that out. Make sure you're subscribed. That'll be the weekend after this one. Uh, of course, we'll be there. I'm very excited. Like I said, I think we have a campsite and a cabin, uh, if not more than that. I think there might be a few campsites. Uncle Arvar, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, David Lunks says, the egg joke needs some work. You should have said the egg yolk joke. Look at that. So she's committed. Jess is already in for the campground. Why did I see that? not see that coming? That's so funny. I feel bad because people have said, can I stay in the guest bedroom? And it's always open to you know, friends and people I've met. But Sexy Kenny has claimed it first. This is Quick Kenny, and now we have a Sexy Kenny. But not saying Quick Kenny is not Sexy Kenny. But the nicknames kind of just come from other people, not me. And uh, when he flies in tonight, he has cold shotgun on the guest bedroom for the weekend. So he's here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But you live too close. You would have gotten, you got, there's too many people who need it. We have to provide housing here. I'll just sleep on your balcony. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. I've, honestly, I would love to see my balcony. Dino says, we saw you when I realized uh, you were vlogging. Anyone interrupt? Come up and say hi. I tell everybody, if you ever see me vlogging, yeah, you're totally allowed to interrupt. I love meeting people, putting faces to names, names to faces. Just don't feel bad at me during interruptions. Billy Batson, my man, 
Uh, so starting to get the feeling Piano Rob has to stay after school and clap erasers. Yeah, we got him in trouble and I feel really he's, bad. He's got uh, to clean these, I uh, don't, these 17 tables that I I don't understand <laughs> how we got someone in trouble for booking a table and wanting to record someone at a restaurant that's at 20% of its capacity, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully we didn't get him in too much trouble because we love him and we want to support him. Yeah, yeah. We were here. There'd be seven tables total, which is kind of crazy. Peaches, thank you for posting a link to SJG3 Collectibles here in the chat. Also, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Discord, the website. Everything you need from me is here in the chat. If you need it verbally, I can give it to you. My Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WW guy. My TikTok is adventures by carney. The Discord is adventures by carney. The website is adventures by carney. The Patreon is adventures by carney. Oh yeah, but the website is adventures by carney dot fun. Not .com because huh, we're not serious. We did get it. We own it, but we didn't transfer it yet. Because I kind of love Adventure by Carney Dunn Fun. But we also own Adventure by Carney Dunn Fun. Wait, I'm so here for the dot fun. What? I'm so here for the dot fun. The dot fun is our actual website right now. But we also own Adventure by Carney Dunn Fun. But we only plug Adventure by Carney Dunn Fun. Uh, and that's thanks again to Robert D and Bill who made that happen. And also Phenomenal Brandy runs the website, so shout out to Phenomenal Brandy. And then Billy, I love it. Vince goes, my man Eddie coming in strong with the super chat. Real strong, I love it. Michelle Wargo, are you gonna come out to hang out tonight? What's going on? Or this weekend, everyone should go check out our full schedule on the website, adventuresbycarney.com, or in the Discord, you can see our full schedule. I also did a full recap about an hour and a half ago. Are we ready, am I the last one? Yeah, let's go. Because uh, we have five minutes to get to our reservation. No, you have 25 minutes. Well, we have 25 minutes. We have five minutes to be on top. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's go. Everyone's so happy to see Michelle. Oh, Where can we find the itinerary? The website and also the Discord. Come on, Michelle. Come hang out with us. I just want to see if I'm close. I'm like two or three messages away. Michelle's going to swing by. I love it. Nathan says, when's the piano player, piano rob? Every other half hour, or every sometimes, I think maybe every other hour. I don't know how they do it, it was here. Like four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. There you go. He plays for a half hour. It was but like twenty minutes. We right? saw his last show, and then we got him in trouble because I moved to the wrong table. So I don't want to get him in trouble because he's a great guy and a good person, and we have to go. And he's not. He's not in real trouble. Anymore. I want to let you know, like he's gonna lose his job. Um, he apologized to me that I got in trouble. He's not in trouble. But I don't care. I don't think... I would never do anything to disturb somebody else's experience at Disney. I was in an empty dining room with two tables, and I sat at one of the other you know 14 what? empty tables. There's someone at that table now. Which I would have happily moved four feet to the left. <laughs> There's nobody here. God bless the Let's go! Should we go living with the land? Oh, no. Quick. Act like nobody. Act like you know them. Don't act like you know them. Just be cool. Be cool. Who's this guy, huh? Huh. There he is, by the way, Piano Rob. That's our boy, he's amazing. The reason we're here. Let's cut through the lounge because it's fun and loud. Now we're back in my world. <laughs> Chaos, all the noise, the excitement, the livelihood. Oh, I was spoiled by that AC. Ow. Happy birthday. Ugh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. I came off that curb, had to even out the ankles. Kenny and his backpack, or in, in his backpack? In his own backpack. It's just the biggest backpack I've ever seen. It is, but I love that backpack. Oh, it's glorious. It's got so many pockets. I love pockets. This is, this is what I like to call, I'm Disney mall. So like, whenever you're grabbing stuff, oh, you know something? All right, let's put this. You know, mine's pretty big, but I don't have anything in there. Yeah, but yours is deflated. Look at Kenny's, he's brought, a, he's ready. I have both mine and Mike's um, four shirts from the expo. I love it. You get for uh, signing up for the race. Because that's the only merch that you can get. <laughs> You're right, because all the other merch are sold out. Because I bought it all. <laughs> yeah. 
Allie will give it to you at a, at a, at a very convenient 25% markup. It's the most beautiful time of the park. Have you done a full lap yet? Like, no, I got off the bus and I ran to Rosie's house. Uh, we will explore. Are you, are you on a Magic Kingdom tonight? Go tomorrow or the next day. We are Gaby Country Band and we are a band. Uh, this is a new band. So they just started this week. The Gabby Country Band. They're brand new. They have not been here. We'll have to come back and check them out. Guys, this is exciting. This band has never played here. They're brand new. Remember there was no one on the sign? It's their first time playing Epcot. There you go. The Gabby Country Band. Oh, that's all remember. Allie and Kevin's wedding right there. What a fun day. Yeah. I, I remember that day. We all do. I loved it. <laughs> oh my God. That popcorn smells extra, extra good. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> If there's smell-o-vision, that popcorn smells fantastical. Well, yeah, we haven't taken a real lap through Canada in a while because it's had the scaffolding up for so long. Look at these topiaries. Love it. Bambi's bringing on its winter coat. That's okay. Bambi was a little thin at the start of the festival. So was I. Look at me now. Even thinner. <laughs> no. This is why we're not live streaming pool parties or the Typhoon Lagoon event. Because pop, yeah, we're doing both. Because your boy's been eating all the festival foods. Yo. So he's talking to me, I'm like, yo. What up? How you doing? I really think that they should have continued, instead of bringing this to Morocco, which is still a decent walk, I could probably get there by the time this loads and unloads, to Germany. It's the furthest distance away. They should be crisscrossing. Anyone else? No? No? You're right. Because that's an actual save, like, it's a save. I know it's for, like, people who, like, it's a long walk, right? Like I said, it's a mile and a quarter around the World Showcase. So for your convenience, there's the boats, and it's also a fun little ride. But from there to Morocco, like, I could, people who get in line, I could probably beat you. Um, I don't know. I might go check in at Garden Girl, but I might also use the restroom. If you're going, I'm going. All right. Well, yeah, but now it's so low. All right, do whatever you want. Here you go. You're in charge. See you later. You're in charge. Good. I love being in charge. Oh. Good at the Honey Bistro this year? Uh, I think it's the same thing that's always here. Like the honey uh, chicken waffles? Uh, the chicken and waffles is it's chicken and waffle, um, and then the honey glazed cauliflower, which has been here a few years. Isn't there something really good like lobster thing at the Odyssey right now? Uh, so it's actually on this walkway now. It was only at the Odyssey on opening day because this walkway was closed. It's like right, yeah, it's right over by the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what on. It? It's on the way. Uh, it is a. Um, it's got a special butter, but I can't remember what the special butter is. Key lime butter on a on a lobster tail, grilled lobster tail. It's very delicious. Really wish I didn't have a scotch egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You can't taste it anyways, right? I'm trying to taste butter. It does taste like delicious butter. One of my favorite things, I took my nephew out one time to get lobster. It's like, lobster scotch is terrible. It's just butter. It's like, it's not good without the butter. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't eat it without the butter. Yeah, it is, um, it is a southern lobster. It's a, it's not a main lobster. So it's not as good as lobster up north. It's a little bit tougher. Just experience. He did not know what lobster was. It went to Boston with my uh, brother. Oh, yeah. He you. Back and he said he loved lobster. All he wants to do is eat lobster. So I took him to a restaurant, got him two lobster tails. A little crazy for a little pretty cat girl. Yeah. But he's just sitting there, and the lobster tails come down. And he's looking at me like I'm an idiot. 
She was like, what is this? I just want it lobster. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is lobster tail. I was like, no, 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 lobster tail comes in the past. Lobster comes in the past. It's around. I'm like, you talk about lobster raviolis? You you like lobster raviolis. And you, he's like, yeah, I, I never tried this. I mean, lobster ravioli is also delicious. He thought that was lobster. He never had lobster. But, but yes, that's like if it was like, it's like, oh, I love chicken. I love chicken so much. And then you got him like a nice, you know, chicken breast or like a roast chicken. And then they're like, no, it's supposed to be breaded in little. I, I want chicken nuggets. You like chicken nuggets, you Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. And that table right there that you can see where that umbrella is is where uh, Robert D. gave all of us two lobster tails because Robert D. is the most generous, extravagant man. <laughs> Probably. It was one of our many live streams here. Kenny, Kenny got married. He said, "Don't you actually do work at work?" I'm like, "Not really." <laughs> Just sitting there reading Daredevil and watching the stream. You got a tough job. I don't know what your official job is, but. Ah, uh, yeah, no, there is a lot of waiting for that. It's a very important job, and you have to do it correctly. But then you have to stand around for like eight hours. Oh yeah, 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 and you have to have get it, you know. You have to have everything tested and... I couldn't touch any wire. So I, uh, a local 98 guy had to run all the wire. I couldn't touch it. I couldn't even move the wire. So let's just say I need to get somewhere and pull out by a box of wire. I could not move the boxes of wire because that was union. You couldn't... I can understand not installing the wire. No, we couldn't even touch the wire at all. You, you couldn't, couldn't move it. You, yeah. could, you, could you step over it? That's unsafe. If you, if you step back too high, it was unsafe. Oh, you're right. Because then it's an OSHA... Uh, Violation. Yeah, we've been here the whole time. We were talking about the lobster tails. Oh. Uh, he told a story about how uh, his nephew really liked lobster. I love um, lobster. And then found out that his nephew had only had lobster ravioli. Uh, and not lobster. And, and he, he just... Not, he did not know what the tails were. I put two lobster tails in front of him and he was shocked. He was like, Uncle Mike, what's this? And you could have just got him some mac and cheese. He would have been just as happy. Oh, yeah. And $50 richer. I always tell the story, uh, Robert D and his extreme generosity. I told that story as well. Yeah, right here. That's the, that's the famous table. That is the table. And also, Robert D... I told you I <laughs> ...is the same person I talked about this earlier who is like... Find out if you could get me a bunch of lobster tails for the Carney Crew barbecue. Which I am able to uh, obtain. Uh, obscure? No, obtain. Abscond. The woman is so nice. Her name is Holly. And I know that because she goes to Tolly, like the Christmas time. And I go, oh, okay. She's like, you know, Holly Jolly. I go, no, I get it. I got it. She if goes. Familiar with Holly and Jolly. Yeah. She goes. I'm gonna set aside twenty lobster tails for you, but you don't feel obligated to buy them all. If you need them, they'll be there. And if you don't buy them, I guess they'll sell them to other people. And I was like, thank you. But this is where you get the lobster tails. So a little different um, than if you're from the Northeast, we're used to our main lobster tails. These are warm water lobster tails with the key lime butter. They're eleven twenty five each. And also the Cubanito here, very good. The mojo marinated pork this belly, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, fantastic. and that stone and ground mustard. Value. Yeah, I think the Cubanito is a great value. The lobster tail, everyone loves it. It's on everyone's like favorites of the festival, but I didn't put it on mine only because you get one for eleven twenty-five. You get half of one, and it's a lot. We ready? Keep it moving. We're going to the land. We like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. Thank you so much again to everybody who's watching and hanging out with us on this beautiful Thursday. I hope you're having a great Thursday. We've been having an awesome few weeks here. We did a nine hour, well, nine hour, nine and a half hour live stream, but we were celebrating 9,000 subscribers on Tuesday. Such a fun time. Nice crew. 
Ryan was there from start to finish. This guy. What a guy. The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. Whenever I hear that expression, I think of Sally Fields in Mrs. Doubtfire, where she discovers he uh, that Robin Williams is Mrs. Doubtfire. The whole time? And she goes, the whole time? The whole time? I like this thing. Yeah, this used to be the old spot for the Lion King topiaries, but they moved them towards the front of the land. But it's just a beautiful time of year. That's where, so that's always where they had like Simba, Rafiki, um, Mufasa. I think they shared the sheep a little bit. The sheep. I think they were a little, little fluffier. You think they were fluffier last time we saw them? If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Our next stop Are we gonna live with the land? is either living with the land or garden grill. But we're going to go find out. What I should have done is... Does anyone here have Pat or Brookie's phone number? Uh, was Pat the number that was in that group chat that you texted yes. me about? Do you want to ask him if he's... Yes, I also have Brookie's number because... <laughs> If you want to message them and say, like, are you on the ride, off the ride? Let them know we're entering the land. They have the butterfly landing here. We've done this uh, a few times on the stream. If you missed it, you can go back and check it out. We've been here at Epcot a lot. Get it. They also have this new uh, little festival hut with the green on the side. I like it. But it's just snacks, Mickey shaped pretzel, some roasted red pepper hummus, a parfait, a fruit bar. What are you getting? I'm going to go back and get a lobster after I go on. The lobster tail is very good. I just think it's on the pricier end. So, like, taste-wise, very good. Also, based on my... $21 on a drink. Like, I think I can get the lobster. All right, there you go. I was going to say, if you're coming to the ABC barbecue tomorrow, there may be lobster tails. Wait, what's happening? Tomorrow is... The Adventures by Carney barbecue. I'm not in the Discord. Or just the website. But there we may be, there's going to be a ton of food at the barbecue. Polynesian. Okay, what time? Well, we're going to start meeting around two, but we're going to eat between four and six. Well, no, two is when we're like, we're going to hang out by the pool and have some drinks and relax. I'm going to be there at two o'clock because I'm doing all my running around from 11 to two. See, that just makes sense. I'll do Magic Kingdom tomorrow. There you go. Magic Kingdom. Then you just take a boat over and then we're going to hang in the pool. We're going to relax. Hottest point of the day. And then we're, there'll be music. We'll get some games, some fun. And we have some amazing. I know both the guys that play music. Well, we might not be near them because we're taking over the entire barbecue pit area with all the grills. I'll be bringing music and we're cooking like a legitimate meal. Like we have grill masters, like six coolers. <laughs> okay, I'll go maybe check in and ask if it's okay if we're a little late. Yeah, because there's no weight at all for living with the land. It's a walk-on, which I love. See, that's the thing is, see the... Awesome Planet. Oh, that's a fun one, four minutes. Well, that wall carving's been there forever, and of course everyone loves that. I didn't know about that until like two, three days ago. I'm very excited. Gone. Oh, it's gone. Okay. We we've there showed it many times. I did take you there with Kevin. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I'm. Can I ask you a favor? Can you hold this while I talk to them off camera? Yeah. Hey, Chad. How's it going? I'm gonna look over this balcony. Over at the seasons. Stuff, but it's so blandly themed. Your yeah. favorite high school cafeteria. 
It's, you know, but it's surprisingly, it's a little bit better than most quick services. Oh, it's very good food, but it's like almost what like... What have you eaten them? I've eaten there twice. When? Uh, when they had the puzzle. I got the mousse and I got the salad. Uh, it's sandwich was uh, very good. Okay. It's more on par with a <coughs> resort quick service than a standard theme park quick service. Okay. There's some good quick service though, like Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah, the best quick service. Well, the, the park. it's and not Animal even a close comparison. I think their quick service is better than their actual sit down. I think that's because you haven't been to the nice enough sit downs. What, what sit down they have? Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti's fantastic. Tusker House is subpar. Tusker House oh, is great. Oh, wait. I, I forgot about Sonata and stuff. Sonata's like quick service. 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 She understands that we have to, that we're not, we're not eating at Garden Grill unless we're truly living, living with, with the land. Oh, shit. I forgot about Tiffin's for a second. Tiffin's oh, got Tiffin's Tiffin. is great. Uh, Tiffin's, Tiffin's is so great. Like a Tiffin's little Tiffin's pricey, Tiffin's. but it's very good. Yeah, so like, yeah, that's not normal. Well, it's because he was trying to claim that I the quick service at Animal Kingdom was better than the sit-down. But you can't count Tiffin's because Tiffin's is on another tier. Like, oh, you okay. go sit-down, then you go above sit-down. Also, Yak and Yeti is a sit-down. Yak and Yeti is delicious. Yeah, Yak and Yeti, Yak Yeti is, is incredible. Better, again, Yak and Yeti is good, but you can get quick service Yak and Yeti outside. And yeah, but you can't get the ahi tuna nachos. Yeah, there's so many things. That's a hard argument. I would say the two best parks, Epcot and Animal Kingdom, are the foodie parks. But you're saying the quick service Animal Kingdom? Animal, uh, uh, I think Animal Kingdom has the best quick service of all parks. I would agree with that. So definitely the best quick service of any park is Animal Kingdom. But it's a little bit of a bolder statement to say it's better than the I forgot about Tiffin's for a minute. You take Tiffin's out, it's a bird. Tiffin's, Yak and Yeti. How many people are we? And you can get two, one, two, three, four, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five people. I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze in with this row. Oh, it's okay to talk sometimes, but sometimes when we're in church and we can't talk. Because Living with the Land is Epcot Church. Yeah, I won't speak. I'll just stand in the back. You don't have to no doubt it. I'm just saying. Don't speak. All right, everyone. We're going to one of my favorite attractions. After this, we're going to Garden Grill, which is a character dining experience I've never been to. But first, Living With The Land, where we'll see Garden Grill, which is very exciting. Also, I'm with a stacked crew right now. We got Allie here, Mike, Kenny, and Ryan. Pat and Brookie on their way back. They're missing out on Living With The Land. Here we go. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. And if you're new or if you've been here and you're waiting, please subscribe. Now, enjoy living with the land.
me or is the thunder extra loud over the voice today? It's a hardcore thunder. No, it's playing. We just can't hear it. That's where we're about to eat. That's what I just said. We're on the same wavelength. Look, now we can actually hear it. There's no thunder. No less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, very much alive. The plants and animals that have grown to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. Keeping up with the Joneses. So later on, well, in a minute after this, we're going to be eating up there at Garden Grill, but let's enjoy this. So I always show the screens, but look at the scenery over here. This soundtrack, if you love it, is available on YouTube and it is the best to fall asleep to or relax to. Kevin's not we home. <laughs> You're right, Shelly. In arid regions, we're learning to produce food on desert seacoasts by developing and planting crops that thrive on salt water. In Japan, we're learning that by mixing leaves and other living materials into our soil, we can make farmland more fertile without the need for chemicals. So a lot of new uh, plants have been uh, put inside these greenhouses. We noticed it last time, but you have ginger, Thai, pineapple, uh, giant taro, breadfruit, uh, dragon fruit, sedum, rice, papayas, jasmine. <laughs> But I love these little themed areas. So here's the Little Mermaid area. You can see books, right? There's a book right there. <coughs> Ali, I'm hoping you're going to put music over this. But there's a few different things. So we just passed the Little Mermaid spot. There's a few different Disney books and setups here inside Living with the Land. 
So either do a voiceover or put music over my dumb voice. Or just for someone's bingo card, because Rebecca Dolan made the best bingo card, my big red face. And I don't see any asbestos in here. And if you're wondering why I'm saying that, Rebecca Dolan made an amazing live stream bingo card in our Discord, <laughs> in our Discord, and it's fantastic. This is the invisible fluted pumpkin. How does this grow? It's a miracle. Oh, uh, you guys are good. I agree with you, Shelly. I love the bingo card. Oh, I love it. Shelly, so I just looked up flights for this weekend as if I could actually go. I will say, I just got a text from, uh, I don't know if it's a surprise or not, but Glenn, uh, Suzanne and Glenn Ritchie, who we love, the whole fam, booked a last minute flight, literally. They will be here tomorrow just for the weekend. Just to be a part, yeah, they're awesome. I agree with Pat, do it, do it. Grumpy says, Pete, please take Disney to take down the walls. I'm working on it. Uh, we'll actually be without walls for, I think, one week. As the walls come down for Communicore and Mickey and Friends, we have one week, and then a week later, the walls go up for Test Track. Look at all the freshwater shrimp they have now. Remember there was just one? And look at all of them now. So here's the next storybook. This might be Snow White and the Seven Doves. Dwarves. Oh, it's a mini. Yep, I was right. So there's a little gnome. I love it. But this is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You got the wishing well. And I make the joke, Snow White and the Seven Doves. I've never had a gooseberry pie. Two left after today. Over here, we got some cabbage, some wheat, some amaranth, sugar cane. On our right, we have some daylilies and the nine pound lemons. They're not growing yet, but these are amazing. When they grow in, it's crazy. I love lemon. I want a nine pound lemon. <laughs> Upside down. We got some eggplant trees, watermelons, hanging watermelons, which is really neat. Cucumbers on the right. Yeah, and these are just little baby watermelons. I feel like they're so heavy, they're going to fall. And the only, the only NFTs that still hold value. Here they are. The hidden Mickey over here. And they took out the Epcot. That's spelled Epcot last week. And you can see the new one coming in. Yeah. So I guess uh, it really neat. The lettuce that was here, that spelled Epcot literally a week ago, and they trimmed it. Someone is enjoying a salad with the Epcot lettuce. And over here is the Winnie the Pooh area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. Like I don't know the last time I've had a clean ride on the bike to land without ground and calling it someone. We need to heal and better control diseases. These crops These are super microgreens. So they changed some of the signage, and uh, the Biotechnology Lab, which works with the USDA Agricultural Research Service, still here. Look at all this basil. I need basil for my house. Can I have some of this? Look at the abundance of basil. I'm low on basil. 
and I love it. So over here, we have the Alice in Wonderland. You can see the cards, the Snapdragons, and then you have the tea party. I'm sorry. I know, Allie, you're recording, but... Oh, you're good. I said I would be unproblematic in the front. Well, you can always put awesome music or voiceovers over it. Andrea asked if you're potentially providing quiet commentary. The videos are literally just for Andrea. For Andrea, Andrea? Which Andrea? My Andrea. Oh, okay. Your Andrea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, any videos you don't use, I'll use. Because I don't have any vertical of this ride with the books. So I'll spin it in whatever different direction you do on yours. You have an awesome TikTok. You want to plug it? You should. It's awesome. You have a great TikTok. What is it? You're going to leave everyone waiting? Go ahead. Oh, my gosh. You, you do great TikToks and reels all the time. Oh, Swim Alley 8. Everyone, she's awesome. Swim Alley 8 on TikTok. I don't know where we are going, but this boat just keeps on rowing. Time. Okay, I'm sorry. There's got to be. There's. I think it's funny. There's got to be lighting effects in this time because it's this just so bad. perfect. This is depressing. Oh, this is depressing. Yeah, it's just great. I mean, like, I love it during the holidays. But this is such a great opportunity to do something fun. No, they're just going to stop us here, so we have to stare at it. Well, or they want a second verse. I'm ready to sing. See, I don't call her Tomato Girl. I call her Miss Marinara. Whatever you call her, for those wondering in the chat about the bingo card, uh, unprompted, Rebecca Dolan did an amazing job making a live stream with Pete bingo card of things that I talk about all the time. It's very funny. It's in the chat. Kelsey, so exciting. Says, hello, everyone. I'm on the plane headed to MCO. We can't wait. Kelly will be joining us tomorrow. She'll be on the boat cruise with us hanging out and we're going to meet the fam kelsey says i'm waving to you peaches from the other side of the potomac Honestly, I never want them to take this away, but I would like them to update the bottoms. Like, never forget, you know, Robert Santiago. Or, because, like, those pictures were taken decades ago. Yes. Just Gamador says, I'm very excited to see everyone. Yes, we're going to have a great time. All right, so we're leaving Living with the Land, and our next stop, we saw it twice, right above us, right up here. Garden Grill. So if you watch the channel, there's only three restaurants I have not done. Garden Grill is one of them. And four of us are going to do that. The rest of the crowd is going to hang out at Epcot and we're done. We'll go say hi. But again, if you want to keep track and see what's going on, I recommend following my social media. That's at Official Carney on Instagram at your WDW guy on Twitter or X. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Adventures by Carney is our Discord. There'll be a whole chat. We're all going to be keeping touch with each other, with one another, through the Discord chat. Oh no, I forgot I was plugged into my battery. Right, well, hold on. Put the battery back. It's all falling apart. We got to put the battery back. Sorry. Oh God, I messed up. Hold on. So, I can proudly, and my bank account would be mad at me, say I've dined at every restaurant at Walt Disney World, except for three. Artist Point, Topolino, and Garden Grill. And we, I know, everyone loves Topolino. I get it. The problem is, 
I spent billions of dollars in the first two years living here <laughs> at Walt Disney World doing all the things. So, I haven't had a chance to go to Topolino because I heard it's amazing, but it also is not the cheapest place to go. But everyone has said it's fantastic. I'm going to go. But today is the day we cross number three off the list, Garden Grill. There will only be two left. This is a character dining experience and the restaurant slowly rotates around Living With The Land. So we're gonna get some beautiful views of Living With The Land. We're gonna get to meet Mickey, Chip and Dale. I don't even, I don't even know who else is gonna show up. I'm excited, I've never done it. So it's my first time. It's all you care to enjoy featuring produce grown in Living With The Land greenhouses. They do breakfast from 8.30 to 10.30. We're doing lunch and dinner. So I'm gonna have some cornbread with honey, the harvest green salad. Carrots with celery and farmhouse ranch. Backyard grilled steak with a chimichurri sounds amazing. Rotisserie roasted turkey with pan gravy. Homestyle mashed potatoes. Farm fresh green beans. Seasonal vegetables. Macaroni and cheese. Seasonal pie. You have to race the next day. Yeah, I get it. All right, I'm going. I just want to say goodbye. Allie and Kenny, good luck. Are you both running tomorrow morning? Being responsible. Um, are you still going to be here when we're off or you're out of here? All right, we'll text you when you're done. I know that you will not because you have a busy night and morning. So we'll see you tomorrow then. And then again, and then again, another one. All right, I got to follow my group. Thanks again. I, the stickers did, but I, I also have to say goodbye to my friends. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you, Sarah. Here we go. Look at this. We're walking in. My first time. Look, it's a moving platform. Oh, it's got to be Chip. Chip having a good time. We'll see Chip later on, I'm sure. What's up, Chip? Look, it's living with the land. I love it. This is so cool. I'll take either end if that's okay. Look at this beautiful group. So this is family style. All you care to enjoy food served to your table. Their server today is going to be Chloe. And he'll be with you shortly. And Mickey and Dad and Dale will often be seen here with people as well. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Already. No way. I gotta put this on selfie mode. It is my boy, Pluto. Get out of here. I know. Who else could it be? Oh, this guy's the best. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you tickling me? You're too much. I'd love it. I'm gonna give you a little tickle. Oh, got him. Got him. How's it going, Pluto? Can I give you a little hug? I'm gonna give you a little hug. Look at this. The ultimate selfie over the top of the nose. That's it right there. I'm so excited to see you. It's my first time at Garden Grill ever. I've never been here ever in my life. Yeah, we, we I'm were just so as excited. As you. I know. I've been to every restaurant. There's only three left, and this is three. After this, there's only two left. I know, which is perfect for the amount of fingers you have. <laughs> if I said I had eight left, this could be a real problem. <laughs> We'd have to use whiskers. And the ears. Ears. Oh, my gosh. So, Pluto, I know you're excited about this. What's good here? Are you excited? Like, do you get to eat here, too? Oh, oh, you had to cook a little bit? I have a question. If I don't finish anything and I drop a little bit on the floor, who gets to get it? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. And, yeah, no one look in that direction. Just Pluto. We love it. Do you know... I'm going I'm to tell the truth. I came here once as a child, and I used to be afraid of Pluto. I was afraid. And then I met Pluto, and he is the friendliest dog on the planet. And I also grew up in a rough neighborhood, so he's always now kind of been my dog. No doubt. But these are my friends. This is Pat. This is Ryan. This is Brookie. Oh, he loves when you scratch him. The leg was shaking. You found a good spot. 
That's Brookie. Oh, yes, yes. And that's Ryan. This is so great. I have a question. Even though we're rotating, if I ask one of my friends to take a picture, can we take a picture with this beautiful backdrop? Is that allowed? All right, let's do it. I'm going to let's do it. We got to take a picture. Oh, I got his ear. All right. Okay, you got it too. We all got it. We all got lots of pictures. You're the best, Pluto. Thank you for spending some time with us. I know you're a busy dog. I appreciate you. What a magical experience. What a great time. See you real soon, right? Enjoy the rest of your time. Hopefully, we'll leave some leftovers for you. Yes. Pluto's the best. See you real soon. What a great interaction. Just to kick it off. So here we go. We're at Garden Grill. Character dining out of the gate. Pluto just hanging out, creeping up behind me. This is fun. Mm -hmm. They have a, um, a small menu on the table to get you ready if you want to have an That's alcoholic beverage. So out of the wine, they have a, uh, a Prosecco, they have a uh, Moscato, they have a Chardonnay. Yeah, to mail out to Patreon. Oh, snap. We got more goodies for Patreons. Hello. My name is What's Corey. I'm taking care of you Hi, Corey. Are you okay with being on camera or no? I'd rather not be on camera. Okay, then it's going to stay on me. This is why I asked. <laughs> First time dining with us? I think I overheard you say first time. Just yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. My first time. But, All right. These two. Two first timers. Can you stop Pluto we're, already? We're very yeah. excited. We were very excited to see Pluto. He was it seemed very excited to see us as well. Usually the humans breaking the dog, but the dog broke Yeah, the dog broke me in. That's a good point. Oh good. Yeah, let's get that away from my face. There you go. So it will be family style dining. I'm gonna bring all your food and beverages. If you want to have more something, you let me know. I will take care of it. Okay? I love it. We have a small bar, a few cocktails. We have a red berry sangria. Our most popular one is our citrus freeze. It's a floral orange vodka, peach knots, and mango puree. And then we also have a sweet tea, unsweet tea, lemonade, root beer, coke, sprite, diet coke, coke zero. Is that like a signature drink, or is that that's is. this one here? Okay. This one here, we have a Buzz Lightyear, and it comes with a cotton candy lemonade inside. Seems like a lot of sugar and soda. It what was the other one you said that yeah. like doesn't have like soda and sugar in it? That or has alcohol? Not a sweet. You didn't like yeah, I'm not like I don't like sweet cocktails. Yes. I like I'm a tequila vodka guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, most of them are gonna be sweet, but we have a red berry sangria. It's not overly sweet. I would think. That's is that like a sangria you guys make in house, or is it like the opichi that they use everywhere? It's everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. We also have mimosas. We have an orange mimosa, and then we have the pog mimosa. It's a passion orange guava. Oh, the pog. Mimosa. So yeah, good. Pog, so. If you do you have vodka in house, we do, but we don't do any mixed beverages other oh. than the. I was like, I, instead of uh, that, I couldn't do like pog and vodka. No, unfortunately, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's figure it out. My first time. I want to learn. Yeah, yeah. Let me let Mickey Mouse stop by, and I'll, I'll come right. Get the heck out of here, here. Yeah. Mickey Mouse is here. Yeah. Stop the madness! Are you kidding me? The oh, boss okay. himself. Yeah. I got you a call. This is amazing. Mickey, thank you for having us. This is wonderful. It's my first time here. I've never been here. I know. I'm so excited. Garden Grill. I love your outfit. He was out gardening all the food that we're going to eat. I know. We just got off living with the land, so I'm so excited to be here. This is truly fantastic. Uh, these are my friends. This is Pat. That's Ryan. That's Brookie. And I know that we're spinning, but is it possible that we could possibly grab a photo together? Yes? Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's do it. This is awesome. Mickey, thanks. I love you. I moved down. I don't know if you know about New York, but I moved all the way from New York just to Florida to be closer to you and Walt Disney World. I just love that you're making lives better and you're making people happy. That's what it's about, right? All about. Uh, any anything else? Anyone want to talk or say hello or take a picture of Mickey? He's a busy man. This guy is the mouse. The house of mouse. I, I think. But I love I love seeing Mickey every time I come here. Yeah, I, love seeing I come Mickey. here all the time. Here all the here. time. Specifically just to see you. I mean the food's fantastic too. But. Farmer Mickey is awesome because you know what? Like what would we be without living with the land? 
our produce, what some fresh we food. Be without our farmers? This is true. This is true. And Walt came from a farm. He did. I'm just saying, you know, Mick, you're the best. I know you're a busy man. I know you got to go make a ton of magic happen, but thank you so much for being you. We love you. Have a fantastic, splendid, magical day. She's on her phone. Brookie, you're blowing off Mickey Mouse? Who are you? How dare you? She's waiting for Minnie, I think. I know. See you real soon. <laughs> I love that Mickey like went to go say goodbye to everyone and Brookie's on her phone like, oh, one second, Mickey. <laughs> yeah. It's a private conversation. The top of the table is not allowed yeah. to know about. It probably is. <laughs> At least a little bit. Bun for salad, white balsamic vinegar, some of the greens from our greenhouse Ooh. that the living with the land boat tour goes through. This water. could be the lettuce we saw that was cut. A few days ago, they had a beautiful Epcot made out of lettuce, and now it's gone, and this could be it. I want that bread, so I'll show, show the people. We I are literally and figuratively <laughs> lead, <laughs> eating Epcot. All right, let's check it out. Here's what we got. It's family style, so we're gonna get a lot of food. We got a little salad, we got some bread, we got some waters and mason jars. Go ahead, get into it, everyone. Go, go nuts. Uh, I have no idea, but... I'm just grabbing a piece, and... I'm not saying this is gonna be the most high quality streams for me, talking, hanging out, but we get to see characters, try a bunch of new food, it's my first time. And again, a big shout out to everyone for joining, Rookie and Ryan, but a special shout out, Pick 75, made the reservation, invited us. So thank you, Pat, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for actually making the moves to make this man. Yeah, and I'm finally here. And look, we're, we've been, we've been him on this we're in the desert now. We're moving around, I love it. So we're on a slow moving circular restaurant, which is super cool. I love that we're down by this rail. There's a second layer up top. But right now you can see like a boat right here coming by. That's what we just went on. And this is awesome because you get the sense and sounds of living with the land. And I love family style meals. I'm all about family style meal. The fact that we get to hear and smell living with the land is tremendous. Also, we're only six lights away from 150. I'm just saying. All right. I, say, I took a lot of things out to get ready to do the right thing. I'm going to plug in my phone like a responsible person. Is that, is that a nice one? Can I have a poke? Yes, of course. I'm good with water. I feel like, you know what? I have to do a Bud Light with my man. <laughs> Pat makes 75, the king of Bud Light. <laughs> when I think Bud Light, there's two people I think of. Pat makes 75 and Shane Gillis. Uh... They love Bud Light. That's what they drink. That is it. Pat, do you want to talk about your love of Bud Light? Or do you want to eat salad? Let's put you on camera. Let's get Pat. They go one and one. They go hand in hand. Salad and Bud Light. Zero calories. Low calories. Low cal. For every salad that he has, he has to drink at least one Bud Light. Yes. No, for every leaf. It's called a balanced diet. I like that better. He goes for every leaf. It's called a balanced diet. In the chart, the Bud Light chart. I do love it. Um, also, Pat makes 75 is a celebrity. Uh, people don't know, but some of the OG people know about the Lagoon story. You're about to eat, but do you want to tell the story or should we save it for later? I don't know if I would really remember that story. Well, of course, because That's you were. That's why I was in the Lagoon. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> there was a live stream many, many moons ago where Pat and I were having a great time drinking around Epcot having an awesome, amazing day. We're talking back to the OG days when like, hey, please subscribe, we wanna hit 100 subscribers. And uh, Pat and I both enjoy an adult beverage. We both enjoy Epcot, hanging out, running around the World Showcase. And then all of a sudden, we lost Pat. We lost him. And everyone assumed that he fell in the lagoon. It's always been that way. And no one knows the true answer and will never answer it. But I do love that. It's Pat doesn't remember. <laughs> and I do love that out there, people are still like, do you mean Pat from the lagoon? 
<laughs> like that is what he's, and that is my favorite. But he is alive to tell the tale, and he, uh, we're only here thanks to him tonight. So big shout out to Pat Mix Seventy Five. Yeah, we did go drink for drink that day, which was a lot of fun. And spice, uh, your, your table was double. We had a few <laughs> drinks, a few doubles. They were double, uh, double filled. It might not have. Was was I live on I my channel? Was, or, or, my was I on? Was I live streaming for WWNT or my channel? It was, so it was WWNT. It was, it was uh, right after they opened for COVID. That's right. So I was live streaming for WWNT. And we were supposed to go to Jelly Rolls. Pat, uh, yeah, have we ever done that? No. I owe you a night of Jelly Rolls. Well, that was the makeup. So the makeup was the day around the world, which is why we may have lost Pat. We so went uh, for, uh, drink for drink, <laughs> shot for shot, beer for beer. And that's why we may have lost Pat. But he's back. And cheers to your Bud Light and you um, and our friendship. Uh, I will say a lot of good things have come of course, a ton of good things come from WNT, but one of them is I've made so many amazing friends, uh, including Pat and a lot of the crew. Uh, and we had an awesome day that day. Yeah. Even though we lost to the Lagoon, I'm happy you're back. So cheers to everyone. Happy Thursday. I think it's officially happy hour in most of the country in the world. So cheers. We're having a, an honor of Pat Mix 75 Bud Lights, baby. To you. What if it hits your lips? It's so good. I can't read your text. You have to like show me your text here because I can't read them on the phone if I'm live streaming. Yeah. I know that you're sending pictures too, so I appreciate it. I'll send you the pictures. Later. Thank you. Uh, Pete just says, Pete, you're so much fun with characters. Some people freeze. They're not sure what to say. I love it. Hey, listen, I'm just having a good time, right? Like, this is what Disney magic's all about. It's very rare for Pete to not know what to say. It's because he has a collegiate background in public speaking. It is true, but it's got me in so much trouble because my parents, my whole life, told me, stop talking. I got frequently talkative on every report card. My mom kept saying my entire life, you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. My dad said... Your mouth will get you in more trouble than anything else in this life. I talk entirely too much. But, you know what works for live streams? Talking. Constantly. Talking. Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube wasn't a thing, so look at me now, mom and dad. And, <laughs> and you're all encouraging if I hit the like button, but I appreciate it. Pete just said, I went to Garden Grill as a little girl. Uh, we used uh, to call it the Good Turn Restaurant. Again, super cool uh, as we, we're slowly moving, but I just love that like we're entering different scenes that we just went through. I'm glad we had time to go through Living With The Land first. Whoa, I thought you were going on. Oh, you're going back after this? That's fine, that's fine. Either way, I hope you guys get to enjoy it. I love when you get forever passes. I'm going to keep it on me so everyone else can feel comfortable and sit and eat and enjoy their meal without being on camera. Yeah, and really sadly for you, you can, I don't care. you're forced to look at the, and this is on the bingo card, my big red face. All right, I'm going to try something new. What is this yeah, salad all about? What? The bingo card is in the Discord, Rebecca Dolan. Yeah, it's fantastic. So Rebecca Dolan made a bingo card for a Pete live stream. Uh, the middle one is like and subscribe, which of course you're gonna get. That's a free space. But I'll give you, yeah, that's the free space. But the other ones are very funny. It's like Pete mentions asbestos. Pete mentions that he worked in the beer industry. Pete, uh, what are some of the other fun ones she put on there? It's very funny. Um, oh yeah, that we're going to the opera which is our code for the restroom. We don't like saying restroom. We just, you guys could be watching while you're eating dinner. I know a lot of people, I'm lucky enough that people get to, I don't know, again, I'm very privileged, but people watch while they're, you know, having dinner together at night. So instead of saying like, we're going to the restroom, we go, oh, I gotta go hit the opera, I'll be right back. There's some other good ones. I don't have it uh, in front of me, but great job by Rebecca Dolan.
So let's eat. I'll keep in touch in a second, but Papa's got to eat. It's actually good. What's the dressing? It's a great dressing. Does it, does it taste like an E, a P, a C, and an O, or a T? Pat makes a great point. What a great pairing with Bud Light. The salmon here must be fantastic. Oh, yeah. You see, the acidity plays with the rice and the hops from the Bud Light. And yes, I said rice. Bud Light uses rice in their recipe. A little different from the other American brews. I like it. I pick up a little lemon, a little lemon grass. There's definitely acidity, so some lemon. Some lemon grass. Well, no, I'm trying to think of like, uh, like what else is in the dressing. Obviously, there's vinegar in there and oil. Vinegar and oil are pretty much the base of a lot of dressings, in case those who don't know. You can make your own dressing at home. Vinegar and oil, great bases, but there's a lot of different oils and a lot of different vinegars out there. Go get yourself some white wine vinegar and some red wine vinegar, and you can have some real fun making your own salad dressing. I'm just saying, I love playing with it, especially if you have some like fresh ginger, maybe add a little soy, a little ponzu. Then you get, then you can start getting crazy too, a little salt pepper. We, we know how much Pete loves ponzu. Uh, honestly, it would be ponzu with Pete if Pongu wasn't there first. I love ponzu. Lauren, not the biggest fan. So ponzu is like soy sauce, but picture like someone squeezed a ton of lemon and lime in it. So it's a lot of acidity. I love acidity. I love tartness. I love bitterness. Another reason why I love IPAs as a beer drinker is that there's bitterness and tartness. So yeah, Ponzu, you're getting tons of lemon and lime. You're getting a little soy, a lot of salt. Salt is, you know, the basis of all good flavor in life. Most people under salt foods go crazy. But if you add too much, you add more food. That's like the beauty of salt. If it's too salty, you add more food. Yeah, Chef and then trick. You, and then you get a bigger portion. Yeah. What? Kidney disease. Oh, yeah. Well, if you have kidney disease, I should say, like good point by Brookie. Don't do anything I'm saying. Um, yeah, at all. This is not a doctor's advice. This is a chef's advice. Just want to say, in case you thought you were watching WebMD, yeah. you are not. Listen to your doctor before yeah. you listen to Pete. Uh, I don't know how to put a disclaimer on this stream. This is just my flavor profile. This is satire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have kidney disease, maybe don't do anything I recommend. Ever. Ever. Alcohol or food wise? No, but Disney advice with rides, you're good. Uh, all day. Yeah, when to show up, when stones? to leave. Yeah. Maybe. Well, ride them. Um... Uh, I mean, pull the sword from the kidney stone. I'm just saying there's Pick plenty. The it's scientifically proven to help pass kidney stones. No way. Yeah. There's been medical studies about it. If you could drop one medical study in our Discord, how Big Thunder Mountain is good for kidney stones, I would be amazed. If you're not on Discord, it's completely free. So I'm not plugging something that's not free. You use your cell phone, a computer. If you're going to sign up, please use your real name or your YouTube name so we know who you are. It is a good... I will say, don't go do it unless you're a nice, positive person because we have discovered... We are lucky enough to have, I don't know, almost 400 very kind, positive, awesome people in our Discord. We want to keep it that way. But that's where we drop a lot of our stuff in our Discord. That's also where I drop my schedule. That's where I, uh, we have theme park tips and tricks. We have a book club. We have travel agents. We have live stream ideas. Just put it in general. You found it already? Yeah. Big Thunder Mountain at Magic Kingdom is good for- It has a 70% success rate. A passing a kidney stone. Yes. Oh my God. Hello. Get the heck out of here. Dale is here? Dale, hold on. I got to put you on camera. Is that okay? I hope you're not camera shy, but- Look how great this guy looks. One of my Happy. favorites. This is my boy right here. Oh my god. Oh God's yeah, look at him. Wait, wait, I no, still have it on. Oh no. There we oh, go. Yeah, there oh we go. God. Now you're on camera. Now you're on camera. Hey. Oh yeah, wait, wait for it. Oh. Oh. oh wait, hit him with blue steel. Oh, oh my gosh. Good. This is why 
my Dale's the best. What's up, Dale? How you doing today? You're looking good. I'm not gonna lie. As always, two of us here have never been to Garden Grill. I know it's crazy. It's mind blowing. I don't mean to blow your mind. I need your blind. Oh wait, sorry. Tim wants to pass by. Hold on. Wait, wait, Dale. Let's let Tim go ahead, please. There's Somebody was without their beverages. We can't let that happen. Tim's Dale, arm was getting tired. Let me ask you a question. Has popularity picked up since the movie? Because I love the movie. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But the OG fans are still the best. Well, because that's me. It's my favorite picture from my childhood. I'm not gonna lie. There's only one. I can't find any other picture of any of the characters. Wait, you only have one picture from your childhood? I have one picture of my childhood. <laughs> Keep in mind, uh, we didn't have we didn't have iPhones. Is Chip and Dale? This is my man right here. And I'm gonna ask while I'm eating salad, is it okay if we took a photograph digitally instead of on film? Heck yes, that's a yes for me. I'm into it. Let's do it, you're the best. I took so yes. many. Oh my God, there's gonna be so many amazing thumbnails one day. Everything else good with you? You're good? I love it. Is, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to eight, uh, what would you rate yourself at the food here, and what would you rate Chip at the food here on a scale of one to eight? So you? Eight out of eight. Eight out of eight. Chip? Eight out of eight! Oh, my gosh. What a team player. What a team player. Unbelievable. This is why Dale's the best. Dale, thank you for letting us hang out. Uh, we've been loving the food, but I heard the good stuff's coming soon. Yes, yeah. thank you. That just you're, keeps getting better. You're amazing. I'll see you real soon. All right, we'll see you out there. There he is. Chip, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to block everyone else. Oh, that's okay. We'd rather hang out with Chip than eat our food. Oh, snap. Already dinner time? I just started my salad. All right, what do we got here? Steak with chimichurri sauce, garlic green beans, buttermilk mashed potatoes, roasted turkey gravy, roasted mixed vegetables, and then also macaroni and cheese or goldfish. Oh. What is that what you recommend? The mac and cheese and the goldfish? Oh, the steak with the steak and potatoes? This is why me and Dale are spirit animals, because that is me. Yes. Oh, oh, a little bay, a little bay salt right there. Look at this salt bay. Oh, I love it. That was, that was him sprinkling a little extra Disney magic. A little extra Disney magic. A little sprinkle of Disney magic off the shoulder. I love it. You're the best. Oh, over the top. Over the shoulder. Well, that was good luck. Oh, my gosh. You'd be the best meal we've ever had. Thank you, Dale. Wow. The character interactions have been fantastic. Look at this. Mac and cheese with goldfish. We got steak. We got green beans. We got vegetables. We got mashed. What was that in the corner that's right next to the other? What's next to the bread? No, next to the bread. This is turkey with gravy. Oh, turkey this with gravy. This is a chimichurri sauce that goes with oh, your steak. Oh, the chimichurri okay. is so good. Well, I haven't had their chimichurri, but I'm sure it's good. Everyone take your photos. I should have said, can, Ryan, can you take a vertical or you're doing it? All right, thank you. Never mind. Because we're going to turn this into a short. This is a fun experience. Yeah. I mean, it's all about the content, baby. Ricky is... Uh, Stop the madness. Fantastic job behind you. Well, you know who was really the real success story? Of course, Mickey. He's like good angle, bad angle. So far, so good. What do you think? Does it look right? We're doing okay? Oh, wider angle? We got to go wide. That's good. We got to go wide. We got to go wide. That's the problem. People zoom in too much. They need to see the big picture. At Disney, it's all about looking up, down, left, right, on the floor. There is magic everywhere to be seen. See, this is why this man runs this company. It's the magic of the mouse right here. Mickey, um, what do you think about what's going on right here? The American bison really created this land. You, do you love it? You love it? Big love. Big love. I'm glad you came back by. This is so nice. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. Oh, you want... Oh, I should be eating? More eating, less talking. It, yeah, my mom said this my whole life. Okay, Mickey's right. Yeah, I mean, this is why the, it's why it's a successful company, the Walt Disney Company. It's maybe stop talking and more eating. I know, there's Chip. We'll see Chip later. See you later, Chip. Yeah. Chip just going to blow right by us because we're hanging out with Mickey. It's cool. Less talking, more eating. My parents have always said this. Yeah, he, he's approved, approves of everything. 
I love it. Of course, of course. Why wouldn't you? You're the best. See you later, Mick. I love that we got to hang out with Mickey twice. All right, so we got the mac and cheese with the goldfish, green beans, steak, vegetables, turkey and gravy, mashed potatoes, we got the cornbread, and a chimichurri sauce. And again, I know that everyone else, I know I hate to be filmed while eating, but since I'm with friends, I'm gonna put it on myself because I have to. But while they're serving, and I'll get in there last, um, Look where we are now. We're slowly rotating. So now we're in the American prairie with the mighty bison who have developed the land for us. Remember when we passed this by just a few minutes ago? It's so cool. And then you make the turn here. So here is Kevin Sparrow's house. We're about to pass it by in a minute. The Joneses. And that's when you make the turn into the tunnel with all the images on the wall telling you about all the technology and the amazing things we've done agriculturally. The American bison. I should be saying, does anyone want to take group photos with the characters or no? No? All right, just me? I'm, whatever. I'm a Disney nerd, whatever. Yeah. It's okay, because I wanted something. Oh, okay, see I barely finished my salad. I will say, I think the characters are fantastic here. They, they spend a lot of time, they're willing to take pictures. And all the backdrops are beautiful because it's living with the land. Oh, yeah, you're gonna see the bedroom. Why did it take so long for me to come to this restaurant? I don't know, we've been telling you for literally years. You know what it was? I needed a fellow New Yorker to say, why don't you come check it out? And that's what it is. And here I am. It's macaroni and cheese time. I can't do I can't start with mac and cheese. I start with proteins and then I go to carbs because I'm gonna fill up on carbs. Because it doesn't subtract from the cheesiness. I need all of you to remember how everything tastes because I'm gonna ask for your reviews in a minute. I'll be right with you. As soon as I finish my salad. Thank you. Do you think anyone ever is here and complains about the dog barking? Yeah. You get a solid 10 minutes of dog barking. I don't mind it. No, I just think it's funny because I just hear it. And it doesn't bother me because I feel like this is fun. It's immersive. Yeah, but it is a very slow moving restaurant. You can see the house right here. That's when I unplug the charger. Oh, that's way too much steak. I just want a little steak. A little potato. Oh, I probably should be using the utensils. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't realize you were doing that for me. A little bit of mash. I was hoping. I figured it would be difficult to scoop from this I'll do, you know what, I normally, I'm not the biggest turkey guy because I like, pretty good, but I like to stay awake, but I'll do a small piece. Oh, I didn't change plates, so. you can do whatever you want. What was the dressing on the salad, Corey? It's a house-made white balsamic vinaigrette. White balsamic vinaigrette, there you go. Some of the greens are from our greenhouse. I love it. I knew I recognized them. And then let's do a little green beans. Thank you. All right, I got our, oh, I have no vegetables. I gotta try a vegetable. One vegetable. 
veg for I gotta try a little bit of everything before I get to the mac and cheese. I'm finishing with the mac and cheese because it's gonna be so heavy. Is that I'm gonna be full after that. All right. Uh, don't go. forget to get some chimichurri sauce on your steak. So many things. Here's, oh snap, my boy's back. Look who it is. My boy is back. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Everything, I'm just, they've all been digging in. I've been talking too much. Uh, story of my life, am I right, Pluto? Story of my life. But now I'm right, I'm finally ready to dig in. What do you think, chimichurri or no chimichurri? How many paws up? Mm. No chimichurri? All right, we're gonna go for it, which I appreciate. You know what, I think the same thing as my boy right here because you gotta try it on its own first and then you can enhance, right? Obviously, yes. It's like going from dry dog food to wet dog food. You gotta have both, right? Pluto knows, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's just try it the way it was God intended. Well, Pluto, we'll see you on the next lap. We'll see you. Yeah, keep enjoying. Have a good time. I have to move the camera back. I did not expect him to come back up behind me. <laughs> that is a delicious steak. And I like that he agrees. I don't know if he did, but it seems like he did. I like to try everything originally first and then add all the things. Let's try a little mash. It's a good mash. I'm impressed. And I'm half Irish. That's a high scale. That is good. All right, let's try the green beans. They're good. Might have give a small note, a little more salt, a little more garlic, but I get that not everyone may be into that. But I think, imagine a little more salt and garlic, like a little bit. Let's try the, uh, this is a red pepper here. Same thing, I think it's cooked perfectly uh, texturally. They cooked it for another three minutes or four minutes. It'd be very soft and uh, unappetizing for a lot of people. And any less, it'd be very hard and would taste more like a raw red pepper. So I think it was cooked perfectly. But again, I think a little salt and garlic would really put it over the top. Let's move on to the zucchini. I'm assuming that this is not a pickle, but it's zucchini. Same thing. So kind of my notes for all the vegetables. Cooked perfectly, which is very hard to do because you have to time it just right coming out of the kitchen. But again, a little bland, right? You need, again, a, you don't need much. Salt, pepper, garlic on these when you put it over the top. A little SPG. A little salt, pepper, garlic. Even if they use like a, a garlic powder or an onion powder and a little salt pepper. A little garlic salt. And I get it, this can't be for everybody. Also, I'm sure a lot of the clientele here might have sodium issues. So it's easier to add salt than take salt, salt like take salt away from something. Hey, do you want to show the bedroom right now? I'm passing the bedroom. This is something you can only see on this dining experience. Yes. Yes. I would absolutely love some of these. Yes. Yes. I have a question. Is it possible? Or is, is there anything back there? Garlic. Or more garlic for the vegetables. Let me check. I think it's already... I, I, I tasted a little bit, but I would love it for the vegetables. If possible. If not, no big deal. I think he's going to put it over the top. I'm just saying. I make requests, and it's okay if it doesn't happen. Still loving my meal. Alright, I think I'm ready to try this chimichurri. Did I do a chimichurri on Cooking with Carney? Anyone who's watched Cooking with Carney, I don't know if I did it or not. I wanted to. I don't know if I did it. 
I was gonna do a homemade chimichurri and show everyone like use it for chicken, use it for marinade, for steak. Anyway, here's the bedroom. So Cargo's in the chat. What? So Cargo's in the chat. What's up, So Cargo? I had to, I had to catch up with the chat a little bit. All right, I like the chimichurri. It's good. It's um. What do you guys think about the chimichurri? I like it. I enjoy it. I think there's nothing too extravagant about it. I think it's a very, it's on the blander side of chimichurris. I was going to say it's pretty mild. Like I was going to say same thing. Uh, a mild, or bland it sounds rude, but I would say it's a, uh, if I'll put it in nice terms, a very approachable chimichurri for anyone who's never had it. I like a bit of a bolder chimichurri, mm -hmm. uh, but it does add great flavor to the steak. I actually think the steak was amazing on its own. I think... Some chimichurri mashed potato? Chimichurri mashed potato is nice. The ch also, the mashed potatoes are delicious. Yeah, it's a very mild chimichurri. And then one thing left. The mashed taters. I'm sorry. Mac and cheese. <laughs> the mac and cheese. I'm looking at mashed potatoes, but scooping mac and cheese. This is why this stream's not going to go all night. Did you, uh, did you make sure you got a goldfish in your little stage? I'll get a goldfish. You think the goldfish is the make or break? Pat and I both agree that the goldfish are an excellent touch. Well, again, like all everything else, I like to try the original and the addition. The original came with it on top. I know, but I mean, like... You heard what Pluto said. Like, you gotta try it, like the steak, without the chimichurri and then with the chimichurri. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese by itself. It's good. I'll eat it. I'm gonna eat a lot of them. But, I feel like there could be more. But, I have not had it with a goldfish. So, let's do it with a goldfish. Very nice for sure, adds texture. It adds a little bit of salt too. And it does add the salt, and it does add a element of a. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say a cheddar, but I want to say like, because it's not like a real cheddar, but it adds like that cheddar flavor. So I think it enhances the cheddar in the sauce, or it brings out the cheddar. The goldfish is a great. It's a great touch. It's a great touch for sure. And now it's the fun time. Pete's creation. So let's do steak. A little mash. A little chimichurri. Just a little. Because a steak and a mashed potato bite is, I'm pretty sure, the most perfect bite you can get. Here we go. That's delicious. So I do think the potatoes are super well seasoned. Anyone else disagree or? The mash are great. And they bring the garlic, oil, butter, salt, pepper that I think everything else might be on the sh Again, and I know a lot of people might have sodium issues or anything else. Everything could use a little more salt except for the steak and potatoes, which is really good. But when they're together, the steak and potato with a little bit of the chimichurri, a fantastic bite altogether. I'm a fan. I'm gonna do that again. That might be the best bite I had today. And I will say, there's a little bit of inconsistency with this restaurant because the last time I was here, the steak was borderline food salt. Really? I didn't even know such thing existed. No, I didn't. Did I? Really hard to find here. Is it more garlic? Thank you so much. Oh, we got garlic. Oh, look at this. Thank you so much. 
We have an awesome server. Um, just brought Corey, yeah. Uh, some extra garlic. I just feel like it needs to be cooked a little bit. It's very raw garlic. No, I'm not gonna ask again. Is it is it fresh garlic though or is it garlic? No, it's it's fresh shaved garlic. You can see they, they didn't shave it. But I don't I'm not asking again. As it is, I have a hard time asking for anything at restaurants as someone who worked in restaurants forever. But I am saying I might put a little dab in with the mashed and steak and see what happens. Just to keep everyone away from kissing me because I am so tired of all this talking. My mouth is exhausted. There's no time for kissing. You gotta have garlic. You told me that you have I know, and I'm sorry to everyone here who is really excited about their kiss goodbye because I'm going garlic tonight. Also, just came from the dentist yesterday, really just super fresh mouthing it right into the garlic. Is the skillet hot? No. Oh. I was like, I want to dump the garlic in there. I'm just very mad. I just want to... Oh, okay. I just want to hold it. All right, that way... I... Pat just picks up the scolding hot pan. Corey, how long have you worked here? In this restaurant since 2011, Disney wow. since 1998. That's amazing. Yeah. And I guess you really love it. 2011 is quite the run. Yeah, I think it's. What's funny, uh, Tim, that's right next to me, he walks by here. He's been here 20, uh, almost 30 years. Same, wow. he's been here since his opening. So nobody wow. wants to leave. It's just a good environment. Are you guys we, like, is it like a big family here? or? We, well, we just get lost because it turns so much we don't know how to get off of this thing. So that could be it too. Like, yeah. <laughs> can't leave. He just okay, never clocks out. <laughs> Also, I think it's a sign of a good restaurant. You can see that if you ask that question at a few restaurants. Like when we met Molly over at 1900 Park Fair, she has been there since opening day of 1900 Park Fair and the Grand Floridian. And then when they shut down for the last four years, she jumped around to La Salle and other restaurants. She said that she's been lost. And she felt lost and she was so happy to be back at 1900 Park Fair. And I think that's another sign of the restaurant, right? Like if you're a server and I've served in many restaurants, if you really want to get back to your home or if you stay at a place for 10 plus years, you know there's, you know that's a quality restaurant, right? I'm just saying. Back to steak and potatoes. I will say, I think the second round of steak came back. I haven't had the second round of steak. Let me get in there. Can I get beauty in a piece? Thank you. <laughs> Listen, the jokes don't have to go over it well here. When there's a few thousand people watching, there's three lefts. Three. Sometimes not even the person who's watching. Could be in the background, like, uh, that guy, he's the worst, but that's funny. Steak, garlic green beans, I'm not going to also check the green beans. Also and cheese. more all right, so this new steak. I took it out before the garlic. I'm just saying, yeah, this steak is delicious. Oh yeah. And this one, this steak was chimichurri from the kitchen. They did top it with chimichurri on top, not on the side. So I think that makes a big difference too. Like yesterday, I cooked a little chicken, and I'm tired. I make a lot of the same chicken because Lauren likes it, but we eat it. Oh my God! Yes, please. Ah, that's amazing. I know that nose kind of looks like. The guy I know from Norway. Yeah. <laughs> or Gonzo from the Muppets. I don't know. I'm just saying. 
I don't know if it's a stretch on a hidden Mickey. It's in the official hidden Mickey though. It must be an early draft of Mickey in his nose. Well, you see, his nose is partially hidden behind the leaf. So, like, the tip of his nose is behind the leaf. His eyeballs are right above that leaf. Yeah, but it's a profile, right? So, he's facing that way. Yeah, a profile. Yeah, but it's like a three, it's like a three-quarter profile. Okay. He's looking at the people coming towards him. I'll let everyone in the chat decide. I don't know. I'm saying James Dean did it better. I very much appreciate that he showed it because that is arguably one of the most difficult hidden Mickeys that I've ever found. Furry's awesome. Um, I still see it, but I still feel like it might be the troll. No, I see. Yeah, no, because I have the I have the hidden Mickey app, and they give me hints. Um, and even with hints, I had trouble finding it. So the laser pointer and the flag is very helpful. I mean, based on that guest, she's not entertained. Is this normal? So I've never uh, had food here, but... We're approaching where we checked in. Even though we started over on Living With The Lamp, it was great. I feel like there's a pressure in this rotation to be like, you have to finish up right now. Well, we still get dessert afterwards. All right, so I shouldn't feel pressure? No, there's no pressure at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just keep eating. Yeah, if you want seconds of anything, if you want some of this garlic that's in this... I'm going to tell everyone the truth. I woke up today at uh, 6. I have not had food yet, knowing I was coming here. I had a bag so of chips I... this morning. Just to prime the stuff. Yeah, I'm taking my time. I also can't eat fast because I don't want to get full. But I want to enjoy it. So right now, we're passing where I always look in and go, one day I'll eat here. You can see the balloons in the ceiling representing the four seasons, not the band. Uh, you can see spring, not summer, autumn or fall, oh, not the hotel either. And earth up top. I'm still thoroughly impressed that there's not that much dust on all of the ribbons coming away from the middle. Not that much. I mean, there's gotta be something like, it's not that much. Because they have a team of elves. That or I was like at night, they just like blast so much air in here, let it all fall, clean it up. Want some more beef or potatoes, turkey? What do you guys I want? Do another round of beef and potato. Turkey. Turkey. Sure, I guess yes here? to all of the above. Just no more vegetables. Yeah, we don't need the vegetables. Vegetables can, in garlic. Honestly, you could take the vegetables. <laughs> I'm going to have a few more vegetables because I have to have a balanced diet. They're taking up prime taking real estate. Space. Yeah, we could have so much more meat. Oh, remind me to ask Corey if we were asking for a vegan menu, what do they serve? They have a plant-based Yeah, I want to know about the plant-based menu. Because there's a lot of people out there watching who are plant-based. Yeah, don't waste the steak. Yeah, I'm the guy at the barbecue that's like, if anyone's not gonna finish it. Sorry. All right. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes. All 
I love it. Jessica's on her way tomorrow. The Traveler. We've already got to see uh, Kenny, Mike, Valley. We're gonna be joined by so many people this weekend. I'm very excited. It is part of the Carney Crew Meetup Weekend. I feel very fortunate to be surrounded by so many fantastic people. Again, we'll be live for as much of it as we can, but a lot of it will be uh, put in the Discord or on my socials. So if you want, go join the Discord. It's amazing. It's fantastic. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WW guy. Discord. Well, I already talked about this before, but it's Adventure by Carney. TikTok's Adventure by Carney. Website, adventurebycarney.fun. That's where you can find the schedule. The schedule's also in the Discord. It'll be a fun weekend. We're just getting started. Today's is opening day. This is opening day of the season. An exciting time. And we're going until Monday, which I thought we were going until Sunday, and I forgot Earth Day is Monday, so we had Animal Kingdom on Earth Day. What a time to be alive. And uh, yeah, I'll be going strong with everybody all night long. And I do have two 3.30 a.m. wake-ups on Friday and Saturday to go DJ from 4.30 till 9.30, roughly both days. All right, I'm going back for the mac and cheese. I'm going to try it. Yeah, the mac and cheese with the goldfish. Now let me get crazy. I'm gonna do a little mac and cheese. Just a little bit. That's all I really need is a little bit. But with a little chimichurri. Do you wanna save the garlic that's in this skillet here? Yes, please. Just dump it on top of the vegetables. Thank you so much. You're welcome there, Corey. And then I'm just gonna slide you over a little bit. Yeah, we need we need some more space. Your vegetables are taking up too much table. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that mac and cheese with a little chimichurri, delicious. We cut through all the meat again. Oh, we have another platter of meat potatoes. I love this. Yeah. Hold on, we got a sharp. We got the meat and potato boys over here. Yeah, double potatoes, double meat. Uh, yeah, so you walk the right there. Oh no. Oh, it's crusty. I know. It's gonna stay there forever as we rotate. Thanks, Matt. It went past so fast. Good save, good save, good save. All right, we're doing some work. Here's our main platter. We got our salad. There's just all this, like, plants. I know, apparent, a lot of people have gravitated towards the meat and potatoes. Pete, you gotta, uh... My man! What is happening? Sean Urban. No, we are just making our way slowly around another great YouTube channel. Everyone, if you're looking for another fantastic right. YouTube channel, plug yourself. What's up? Come find the Urban Family Adventures. We've been here all week. Been doing two streams a day. We did four parks in one day today. A ride, a drink, no way. and a food in every park. That's we crazy. We went from like, I don't know, like 8 a.m. to like, it was like It's hard. Hours. It's hard to it do. Hard. It is hard it to do. It was real hard, man. It's fun, but people don't realize, I mean, it's a test. You got to sure. do it. I am tanked. I'm yeah. exhausted. Like physically Are you here with this weekend too or no? No, we are leaving tomorrow to go back home. So we do a couple of drive streams. We drove the Tesla for the first time. I was on. And like, it was, it was awesome. I would say the downside, to it, it was cheap. It was so stinking fast, man. It, it just, like, there's a there's a certain sensation you get when you hit that acceleration. Like, yeah. like 80, 90 without even trying. The bad part is it did add like four hours to the drive. So instead of driving like 18 hours straight and getting here in a day, we took a break because it was like at the 20 hour mark, I was like, all right. I always take breaks. Late. I'm not one of those people. I, I've tried it. I, I'm from New York. You're also, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're up there. It's, it's so a long ride. I always build in a break because I just know even as much as I want to do it, I need to sleep. I can do like the 18 hours, but that's like, that's my limit. When I get to like 18, I'm like, no. and I'm typically here. In 18 hours, I'm here. That's I'm a madman. No, you are. Three that stops. is nuts. Three stops for gas. That's, that's it. Nuts. And when we stop, you're getting your bathroom, you're getting your drink, and we're in the car and motoring. No, that's me, that. I need to pretend it's a new trip every time. So every three, four hours, I find a local brewery and I'm like, why don't we just pop in here? We can stop here for a while. And then I grab just like yeah. one beer, so I know I'm okay. 
<laughs> try the local food, and then I'm like, oh, it's a new road trip all over again. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's a new road trip. Yeah. You ready for uh, you ready for the draft? NFL. We're starting, man. It's coming soon, but I mean, I haven't even thought about it. That's August. I don't. It's just. It's too much pressure. Right? It's too much going on. It's, it's, like, it's still it. April. I can't it's think about lot. it right now. It is a lot. That's um, awesome. But no, the NFL draft will be exciting because three. I just said August because the well, NFL draft equals star. fantasy draft because yeah. that's what it really means. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but the NFL draft will be exciting. I don't know. As I get older, I love it, but also I'm like, I just need to see more because you have the guys who are you know drafted way up front who are just complete bust, but then you have like a CJ Stroud who comes out, and yeah. now he's surrounded yeah. by dimes and oh you're like God. what is gonna happen they're gonna and, be yeah. awesome and then they're you have be. the tom brady's who get drafted like not even on television Last. yeah and then they come out and they win seven super bowls i'm afraid i'm afraid of who we're gonna draft this year for, for the patriots i'm scared you're a patriots I'm fan scared. i'm a jets fan so yes honestly yes. i'm gonna be honest yes do not care what he thinks at all because you've had all the success and i haven't so you know what? All right. All right. I wish you 20 you know years of terrible draft picks. My back hurts from carrying all the Super Bowl trophies. Yeah, as a Jets fan, again, just so you know, too, the reason Jets fans hate the draft is we passed on every good quarterback because we always have a good draft pick. We passed on the Marinos, the Bradys. We just pass on all of them. You know who we draft? People who go to another team and become a third-string quarterback. All right, my table's hey, leaving me. Goodness. Look, they're, 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 Ryan's waving from the distance. Everyone, go follow Sean. This is for you. Thank you. I, just, I love it. I started doing. That's brand new. So that's the end of my. This is so cool. I love this because I'm a poker player. Yeah. So I love this. So it, uh, Poker Chip, it says embrace the journey with Urban Family Adventures. Everyone should go follow him. And then the and QR code really to go follow the channel. I love this too because I've played that's poker cool. forever. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get yeah. a poker game going. Yeah. Oh, sure. I we're love poker. Which one? Yeah. Oh, me too. I'm doing my very first half marathon, and I'm saying my one and only. We're doing, yep. we're doing it one together. And one and done half marathon. That is it. We encourage a bunch of people. We have a crew of like, right now, like I think 12 to 15 people doing it. A lot of first timers. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'll start training in the summer. I love it. Everyone go follow Urban Family Adventures. They're amazing. Thank you for coming to say hi. I love you, buddy. Safe travels. I like that if you don't get off there, you can never go to the restroom. That's the end. That's it. Yeah. Jessica's here. Hi, Jessica. We'll see you in a minute. I'll see you real soon. Yeah, sorry. Pat and I ordered a third plate of meat. <laughs> And she doesn't even know me and Pat are about to have another Bud Light. BL. BL. Is that your, is that still your first or your second? Did you already, oh, uh, I was going to say, I thought you got a second already. I'm like, no way. Now, Pat, are you exclusively a Bud Light man or do you, do you venture into the Bud Light line sometimes? No, he is. Never, never a Bud Light line? A purist. Oh, that's unacceptable. I'm not gonna lie, my um, I, I, a lot of people know I talk about crap beer all the time. It's on Rebecca Dolan's bingo board, but I can still crush and love a Bud Light. I'm gonna say it. I love the the craftiest of the craftiest bougie beers. But every once in a while, you can't. I, I can't have on a day like today, twelve IPAs. It's gonna be a disaster. But twelve Bud Lights, I'm ready to go. The non-alcoholic one? No, PBR. PBRs? I'm sure there's PBR lovers out there. Gotta love a pass. A little PBR? It's weird because this rail stays the same when we're moving. Guys, I know you two. Listen, I know you two are okay with being on camera. You're in charge now. I'm going to watch every move you make, but you're on camera while I run to the opera. And if you're doing a light, I'll do one. If you're not, I won't, but it's up to you. 
So yeah, you, you gotta have something to watch down the safe. What's going on in the cat bag? You better be honest. Yes, the vegetables are the same. The potatoes would be uh, dairy-free potatoes. Dairy-free potato. Yeah, and then we have a jackfruit barbecue. It's a jackfruit barbecue. Ooh. Okay. And a vegan sausage. The vegan sausage. Yeah. Okay. That would awesome. be the skillet. Uh, that would be plant-based. That sounds fantastic. And then for well, from the beginning to the end, the beginning would be um, we have our algae rolls to be plant-based because this here has egg in it. And okay. Yeah, but with a uh, plant-based butter. Oh, fantastic. The plant-based skillet, and then at the end was a. Uh, a uh, apple uh, crumble, an apple crumble. Yeah, apple crumble instead yeah. of the, uh, the strawberry yeah. shortcake, right? No, we used to have that. that. No, we have an apple pie. We have an apple pie with vanilla oh, ice cream. Have an apple pie. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. It's really good. But the uh, plant base would be uh, the apple uh, streusel with uh, vanilla uh, sorbet. Oh, that sounds that All plant based. And that one's delicious as well. This is as good as the apple pie. It sounds yeah. like either way you can't go wrong. Nope. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I mean we're we're well above the second story. So later you're like it's like you're lower. No, I think it's just that you can't be counted. Yeah. Because they saw the whole thing. So what these guys are talking about is that we are above living with the land right now. And you can see the lighting and special effects way down there. All right, let me try these meats again one more time. Can I get a little meat potatoes? Look, we didn't even touch one of the potatoes for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we were doing chat catch up, and then he was here, so I mean, I love sure. it. So I don't think catch up the chat. You guys did it. Yeah, we're we're well, we're talking mostly towards the bottom. You might need to scroll up some. I think Pat did some scrolling up. I I mostly stayed at the bottom of the chat. Scroll up the glow up. I just didn't want to end up on your food. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, I know it is. I just didn't want to. I didn't want it to go to waste on the bottom the of the whole skillet. skillet. I, no, no, I didn't want the bottom of the skillet to touch the top of your food. The food can go on your plate. The skillet can. We, you know, we don't know. 
The Mick is back. Hello and goodbye, Mickey. Mick, I need a favor. The only character we haven't seen is Chip. What's going on? Why is he so right shy? Here. Right here. Get out of town. He's coming. Look at this. Mickey makes magic happen literally instantly. Unbelievable. See you later. Hold on. Let me get ready for Chip. Because the only character we haven't seen is this guy. He puts the ch 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 chip in Dale. Chip, how you been? We got visits from everyone. I know you're busy, but you blew by before and we miss you and we love you. What is happening? You know, I just want to say, I'm not accusing you. I know you're, you're, you're one of the busiest rescue rangers, am I right? Out of you and Dale. Pretty busy, pretty busy. Number one right here. Wow. Um, what is it like? You're just always so busy, just nonstop, just taking pictures. Are you doing okay? You doing great? Oh, look at that happy smile, I love it. Now, we asked earlier about the food here. On a scale of one to eight, how would you rate the food? Eight? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, that is a lot of high oh, praise. So oh my god. So, oh my god. <laughs> I can't come by eight that, that fast. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's. I'm gonna say eighty. I'm gonna assume that you did. It's gotta be eighty. Eight, eight times ten. That's gotta be at least eighty. In infinity. Also, eight is on its side. Mind blowing. Infinity. Mind blowing. Wow. What is happening? The side. What is going on? Oh. All right. Uh, another question. Just a quick follow up. Uh, you and Dale, do you have the same dentist or different dentist? I know, I know. I'm assuming it's a little different. He's got a better dentist, or you? He doesn't have oh, a dentist doesn't, at all. He doesn't go to the dentist at all? <laughs> all right, oh guys, breaking news. Don't tell anyone. Keep it here. But Dale doesn't go to the dentist. Which is a real shame, you know? It's a real Chip shame. regularly goes for his cleaning. Yeah. And look, yeah, because it's sparkling white. And don't get me wrong, I've seen Chip once or twice have a little Disney popcorn, maybe an ice cream bar. I'm just saying, Chip, is it possible? Before, I know you, again, I know you're busy, you're about to take off. Can we take a photograph? Because the last one we got, I was a little nine-year-old kid. I know. And somehow, I have aged way worse than you. And I've been doing the, everything you've written in your book about your diet, but you still look just as good, and I have this He's face. He's so many acorns. I know. I'm just on a... It's so many acorns. My doctor is so mad. Let's take a picture together. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. We'll put it on this camera, but this is the one we're looking at over here. These people just like to watch the madness, you know? All right. Let's do it. You're the best. Chip. Oh, a fist bump? I love it. This is the, the best. Chip, thank you for stopping by. We love you. We love Kisses for everyone yeah. from Chip. A lot of love. This is why Chip is so beloved here at Walt Disney World. He's the best. Cursing Chip is the best. Chip is the best. Oh, right. Don't let Pluto hear it. Don't let Pluto or Dale hear it. All right. Well, now that we've seen all the characters, I feel like we're good. But we still have dessert, too. We can't... No, we have dessert. We have dessert. Sweet, sassy molasses. Because I put this meat and potatoes on my plate. <laughs> and I grew up in a household where you're not allowed to leave the table until you finish all the food on your plate. But I'm not ready for dessert. If I didn't put it on my plate. I know, but it's always good. I want to try a few more bites. It is delicious. And then while we wait for dessert, I'm gonna catch up with some chat. We'll talk about what's going on this weekend. A lot of exciting things happening. We're at Epcot right now. We're over at Garden Grill. If you're just joining us, you're like, where are all these maniacs hanging out? We are at Garden Grill. 
Uh, big thanks to Pat Make 75 for making the reservation. Uh, I've been telling everybody I'm trying to complete all the restaurants here at Walt Disney World, and I only had three left. Garden Grill, Topolino, and Artist Point. And now I've done Garden Grill, and this honestly has been a ton of fun. I love this restaurant. I like the slow rotation around living with the land. That's what's over here. Uh, you can see we're above the ride. We're about to go into the desert. We're leaving the rainforest. A fun debate one day that we should do on like uh, an ABC round table or a discussion is ranking just the character dinings. I would love that more than anything. Really, more than anything? More than any <laughs> other idea that you have come to me More with. than anything. Ryan, how's the steak? You know, it's good, but it's not as good as that idea. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> that idea you had about character dining is the thing that I love the most out of anything. Here's it. Uh, it's your idea about character dining, Victorian Alberts, no lines at Disney parks. Melon. Yeah. <laughs> Melon. My girlfriend. My family. <laughs> well, then I guess we have to do it. So if you want to be a part of this or throw out some good ideas and why, go in our Discord and let us know. Not in the general. Where should we put it? Let's throw it in. Um, let's throw it in edited videos ideas because we might have to edit it because it could go long. Let us know your favorite character dinings and why. And I want to know. We got to get a ranking, and we should have a little discussion. I feel like we need an ABC roundtable. Maybe we'll do it this weekend. Maybe we'll do it soon. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it while everyone's around. We're hanging out one night this week. Maybe we'll do it at Top of the World Lounge. Be a fun place to do it. I've never been there. I'm very excited to go. We are doing Top of the World Lounge as part of the weekend. If you're uh, new to the channel or just joining us, we are in the middle, not in the middle, we just started our Adventures by Carney meetup weekend. It's a fun time. We do them twice a year, spring and fall, uh, where we have a bunch of friends come into town. The locals come out, people come in from all over. I love to see everybody. Meeting new people, seeing old faces. The ite uh, the full itinerary is over at adventuresbycarney.fun. Not .com, .fun. It's a real site. Go check it out. Also in our Discord, it's free. Go join it. That's where you can see all the things we're talking about. Uh, and I'll be keeping everyone up to date on my socials. I'm at Adventures by Carney on Instagram. At your WDW guy on Twitter. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok, the Discord. And I gotta give a big shout out to all the Patreons. Couldn't do it without them. And I'm actually sitting across from one of them. There he is, Pat Mix 75. We have a Patreon in our presence. Worship this man. He speaks for the group. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do it, yeah, two more, that'd be great. Anything else at the moment? Or? I think you could probably take the veggies away. I don't think anyone else Yeah, if you want, right just in case there's, a, if we're, are, is there actually desserts? Yeah, it's an apple Oh, I'm not ready. All right, then we created a new space for it. Thanks, Corey, yeah, appreciate I'll, it. I'll we'll, we'll keep working on that, but you're welcome to bring out the dessert anytime you want. Oh, boy. They shouldn't go enjoy the park. I say this all the time. I don't want to feel guilty if anyone's ever waiting for me for anything. Is that I'm very easy to find. Is go have fun, go enjoy. We're live on the internet. Anybody else finishing this steak or not? Go for it. Uh, you know what? If you can cut me one piece of whatever piece you pick up, I have the perfect bite of mashed potato for one piece of steak, but not a full, like, flank cut. Yeah. I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, no, I want a two by one. You want, you want half of this, is what you're saying. Perfect. Ryan's, Ryan's getting into it. No, he's got it. He's got it. Meat, 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 
Today's stream is going to be uh, kind of just a lot of fun. We're popping around Epcot. If you want to see another really ridiculous stream or where you want to see, what do we do? If you want to see us eating more, watch the 1900 Park Fair stream. We ate a lot there. But if you want to see a lot of resorts, we did, I think, what, 14 or 15 or 16, 17, 18? I think it was 14. I feel like it was more than that. But we did a nine hour live stream on Tuesday where we had 15 resorts, I'm pretty sure. And end of the night with fireworks. There's three All Stars. All Stars. All Stars, Pop. Pop, AOA. AOA, Caribbean Beach, Riviera, Yacht, Beach, Swan, Swan Dolphin, Dolphin, Boardwalk, Polynesian. 13, 13. We did 13. See, we split the difference. I was saying 12, you were saying 14. Lucky number 13. We did 13 resorts on Tuesday. Nine hour stream, a lot of fun. Uh, we were celebrating 9,000 subscribers. We're on our way to 10,000. If you haven't heard, we really want you to subscribe because when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing a 24 hour nonstop live stream. Wait till I tell Pluto about it. He's gonna lose his mind. Pluto's gonna lose his bone when I tell him this. Pluto, you wanna hear some crazy news? Here, come over here. Let's, let's get a selfie together. Pluto, you ready for this? By the way, we love you. You look amazing. Pluto honestly has been, you've been on fire today, and we love you. Honestly, you bring big dog energy everywhere you go, and I love it. Yes. Pluto, here's the crazy part, right? We're, we're closing in on um, 10,000 people. I know, it's a lot. It's a lot of bones. It's going to be a lot of fingers. And when we hit 10,000, we promised that we would stay live on camera for 24 hours straight at Walt Disney World. 24 straight hours. You know how much Pluto that is? Not enough. <laughs> and you see what I did there? Pluto might be one of the smartest dogs on the planet. That's why he's literally my dog both spelled with two, uh, you know, with an O and an A-W-G. Yeah. Also, can we talk about, about that one? <laughs> I know, it's, English is the worst. We have a lot of international, there's just one way to spell dog, but he is my perro, he is the best. I just wanna say thanks for being you. You're really the best. Always brings the energy. Sometimes, you know, other people might be down. Pluto? Such a modest dog, too. Such a modest dog. Well behaved, handsome, great ears. Love the polished name tag. And just, there you go. And just keeps the tongue out of his mouth just enough. Not sloppy. We're eating. Just, ooh, I got a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. Jeez. That's almost, but it's, it's, just a little bit, but I'm okay with it. That's Pluto love right there. Yeah. That's it. Pluto, you're the best. Look at that. And he knows high fives. Can your dog do a high five? Some can, not all. Oh, and a fist bump. Oh, snap. We got a secret handshake. I love you all. Pluto, go shed your love with the rest of these amazing people because you've been so good to us and we love you. Cheers. I love you. What do you how do you say goodbye and Doug? Fetch and throw nothing. <laughs> no. no, 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 we're just kidding. We wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, we would always throw something if we were playing fast. Yeah, I mean, and also, I don't think Disney wants me throwing a piece of mashed potatoes across the <laughs> restaurant. Uh, they threw them for a steak. Yeah. yeah but no <laughs> we finished cherry. all the steak. No <laughs> Again, we're back in the uh, arid desert region. We're passing Living with the Land. We did it right before we got here. But I love that Garden Grill slowly rotates around living with the land. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm super happy I'm here. It's my first time doing Garden Grill. And it's been awesome. We're about to uh, approach what everyone calls Kevin Sparrow's house or the home of the Illuminati. If you haven't subscribed yet, we're going to be doing fun videos like this all weekend long. Uh, our ABC weekend has just started. We're keeping you alive, though, because apparently, and I'm not ready for it, there is dessert coming, which is insane because I am so full. But while we're here, and I'm going to take a... No beef went away. I'm going to take an eating break after this one scoop of mash. No, this is a mash. 
Masked and cheese. <laughs> I think you got colorblind or something on this. Darn this I love mashed and cheese. <laughs> the spitting is getting to you. <laughs> I'm not used to eating on teacups. <laughs> Can that be a show that we do? It's like hot ones, but eating on teacups. Oh my god, that'd be awful. All right, let's say hi to some of the chat and give you guys some love real also, quick. Did you see uh, who was on the most recent hot ones? Bob Iger. No, we talked about him a couple days ago when we did the SeaWorld hey, stream. Oh, and then it's obviously, uh, Hoobas Tank. Ludacris. Luda? I haven't seen it, I want to see it. Yeah, it came out, I want to say, last night. For those who don't know, we're going to do our own version of Hot Ones. We're collecting every hot sauce around Walt Disney World, but also, we are taking the hot sauces you mail in. Please do not mail the bomb, I had it. I had to do it when I was pledging fraternity. It's also, the worst day of my life. We're, we're asking only hot sauces local to you, right? Because we want to be able to sample yes. the hot sauces from around our Give us a local base. hot sauce. Don't just try to kill us. I've done the world's hottest gummy bear. It's the worst day of my life. I got a oh, little bit of this. everything for you guys. There's a chocolate cup. Here we go. Corey, Corey hooking it up. Apple pie with vanilla ice cream. And then this is the plant-based uh, dessert. Apple oh, crisp, thank you so much. Gelato. So the plant, yeah, the plant-based apple crisp looks good. The apple pie, and then what were these? Chocolate cupcakes or the white chocolate uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah! Don't face it away from them. I'm the camera. Come on, Corey. <laughs> well, he didn't want to be on camera. We no, we're not putting him on camera, but these look great. All we have is Corey's apron, and he's wearing it right. All right. Someone went up. I only have one hand. And then me and Pat got dessert beers. Yeah, you got a dinner beer and a dessert beer. All right. What are we going for first? I'm getting this chimichurri. Do you all eat dessert? Brookie, dessert? You're in? All right. Everyone's in for dessert? I'm so ready for this dessert. You guys all get in there because I'm so behind on chat. I'm going to try and catch up while you guys go at it. And I'll take the leftovers. Oh, the plates are warm? The melty ice cream. So I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit behind on the chat. Uh, so I'm going back about an hour. And I'm going to work my way back to the present. So if I forgot or didn't see your comment, please drop it again. Big shout out for Shelly for dropping the links. Shout out to Love Pugs for being here. People excited to see uh, Pluto. Mike Amador in the chat. We love seeing Mike here. Jess's other half. So see you guys tomorrow. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Mike will be here. Jessica was also excited that Mike was here. It's a, it's a rare finding. And uh, just so you know, Pat, Mike says, you go. I drink Bud Light too. He loves Bud Light. I know how to make him happy. I bring, I bring uh, 18 Bud Lights and 12 uh, White Claw watermelons to Mike and Jess, and that makes them both so happy. And then I get to hang out at the Fort Wilderness all the time. Oh gosh, you're really asking a lot here. Just streaming, scrolling, answering chat, trying to give you guys a good look because the camera is on you and not me. Oh, no. Do you guys have an extra koozie for Patty? Let this koozie in your golf cart, Mike and Jess. Uh, Peaches P says, I finally know the backstory of Pat and the Lagoon, and I'm very happy I know. Tyler Silver, what's up? Happy Thursday. Izzo in the house. Another great channel to go follow. What's up, Izzo's place? Izzo says, I'm at a liquor store in Key West with a note on the door that says, gone for a personal moment. Please be patient, which is hilarious. It's still Apple. It's still Apple. Dawn says, don't go on email with me and Pat. We will wait. We will wait. Uh, Lynette's got love for Dale. Robert D says, Thunder Mountain's a new substitute for lithopatry. I don't even know what lithotropy is, but I guess so. Captain Kirk says, Dale is such a cut up. Yeah, all the characters have been great. I, uh, I hope one of my friends have recorded some of it. We'll make them into shorts. 
David Long, pumped to see Mickey. Yeah, character yeah. dining is just a really good time. We haven't done a lot of it here on the channel, and now we're going hard. We're two in one week. Peaches P says, this dinner conversation is hilarious. Big Thunder Mountain is good for kidney disease? Good to know. I had one, worst pain in my life, and it was worse than childbirth. Wow. So get your behind on Big Thunder Mountain. So Cargo is here. Hello, Strawberry Hibiscus says, is there a dog barking in the background? Uh, yeah, actually, we're about to hear it again because we're approaching the farmhouse. Lynette says we're big fans of the breakfast here, so they also do breakfast here. We'll have to come back for breakfast. All right, so explain what we're eating to everybody. This is apple pie vanilla ice cream. Okay. This is apple spruce with vanilla sorbet. Oh, so. Plant based. Got it. No dairy products, no egg, no nothing like that. These are. I believe traditionally for the children, um, but these are chocolate cupcakes. Good to know. Dad about Disney says, "What's up, brother? The character breakfast and food here is amazing. The steak is so good, and also if you see BJ the server, please tell him the Cross family says hi. We talked to him about the cruises. I'll look out for BJ." Rebecca Dolan says, has anyone gotten a bingo yet on this live stream? I was away for a little bit. I don't think anyone's gotten a bingo yet. Sarah J says, my girl, So Cargo. I've been ninja watching. What's up, Sarah J? And So Cargo, so Sarah J. Oh, my God. Watching this has been me super excited for my trip. Dawn told me she filled you in on our dinner plans. Hope you can make it. I love it that there's a full conversation going on. Uh, Dad about Disney says, if you're watching this stream and you haven't subscribed, do it now. We need him to get to 10K. Or even a hundred K. Awesome channel and awesome guy. Thank you so much, Dad about Disney. I appreciate that. That's very nice. Lynette says salt is no good for my high blood pressure. I know, me either, but who cares? It's salt. It's delicious. Urban Family Adventures, it was so great seeing Sean. A great channel to go subscribe to. Uh, I'm glad we got to come up and see him. So you might think we're on Living With The Land, but no, this boat right here is Living With The Land. We are in the restaurant above Living With The Land here at the Garden Grill at Epcot. Captain Kirk says that is, might be the most difficult hit of Mickey in the park. I agree. I, I saw it, but like, it's a stretch. Thanks again for Shelly hanging out all day. Joe Wen, what's up? Said you eat so well and now I'm eating beef noodle soup and drinking cherry Coke. There you go. Sean's coming to steal food. You should have. You should have ran up and ate the food. I would have shared. Lynette makes a good point. Pete's got great merch, too. New hats are dressed in. Check out all the merch in the Discord. And we have more coming. What's going on, Michael? Darling, did I miss dinner? We're eating dinner right now. You're here just in time. Hello, Avery Berry. Michael, darling, I hope you didn't miss Chippendale. They both came by. We did get to see Mickey multiple times. Pluto multiple times. Uh... I think we saw Dale a few times, and Chip was our last one. We crossed him off the bucket list. So you can see how slow we're moving, because the boats also move pretty slow on Living With The Land. And this is the second one coming by. So you can see how slow we rotate around Living With The Land. Shelly, first time you're here. Excited and scared? No, you're not a so much food. Yeah, the dessert just showed up. We just showed it to you. We got to see Pluto, Chip Dale, and Mickey. And there's always the replay. If you missed anything, you can always rewind, fast forward, uh, jump around, and of course, go back and check out any of our old streams or videos. We're just truly just having a good time. Just relaxing, enjoying our first night of the ABC meetup. Melinda says the best hugs are from Chip and Dale. They do give great hugs. Kelsey is here in the chat. Two more days till she's here. And the other Kelsey's landing tomorrow. We're going to have so many Kelsey's, and I'm so excited. We got double Kelsey's, double Kenny's. All the K's are doubling up. Albie Mars is here. Great to see you. 
Albie just uh, was asking about Chippendale in our Discord, and Stephen Noon, the MVP, an amazing travel agent, was able to help her out. If you're ever looking to book any kind of vacation at Disney Universal, a cruise, you should always use a travel agent. And again, I'm not even recommending one, so you know I'm not sponsored here, but Disney travel agents truly can help you out and it will cost you the same exact price or cheaper, but they'll give you more information, more tips, more tricks. And I think we're up to seven different travel agents in our Discord. We have a Disney tip section in our Discord. Go check it out, ask questions, and use a travel agent. Always, it will make your life easier, I promise you. And there's no obligation. You don't have to pay them. Disney pays the travel agents. And again, you're gonna pay the same price or cheaper. Just my recommendation. Pete's told me he loved the Mets jersey, so let's go Mets. I love that jersey. And I always wanted to try Garden Girl. Me too, until today. Jessica said, I found an amazing bench by the elevator. People watching. Jess, if you want to go do a ride and come back, I feel bad. We're, we just started dessert. But we'll be out of here as soon as we can. Izzo said, I heard they're going to retheme this restaurant to go to 65 miles per hour. Close. But that would be fun. Can you imagine? One of my favorite things that I just read in the chat was Izzo goes, I heard they're retheming this restaurant to go 65 miles per hour. That's test track being retheming. But can you imagine eating at this booth going 65 miles an hour around living with the land? I'd still eat here. I'd do it. I already told everyone I want, I pitched a show to Disney Plus. I'm not be doing extremely ridiculous or extreme things here at Walt Disney World. Can I please? Be, uh, sure, everyone already thinks you are. I mean, you are. You well, are. No, but I meant of that show as well. Sure, you're it. <laughs> this is this is an unofficial rule. I want an official rule on this show. I'm almost done with my plate, so I can have dessert. Hold on, I have a few more green beans. Is that Dale coming back? I want him to see my empty plate. Uh oh, remember the clean plate club? Except for a green bean fell off his, his top plate onto his bottom plate. Perfect. Sorry, right. you see the camera. <laughs> Throwing things. What green bean? <laughs> <laughs> Clean plate. Sorry, Pete, you don't get anything at this restaurant for that? But that's a 50s prime time. Yeah, it's a brand new plate. I thought I saved this plate for dessert. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw things. Dale, ah, I ate I all my food it. on this plate, saving this for dessert, and then they brought a clean plate anyway. What am I doing? Conservation. Yes. One at a time. One at a time. Yeah. Also, we met Chip, and I'm, not, I'm just going to say, he said that he goes to the dentist, and you don't. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I want you to know because I'm a truth teller, but I'm not going to lie to you. We've had a ton of fun with you tonight. So you know what? Dentist or no dentist. Those are two beautiful teeth. Look at, look, get it, get it, get it. Oomps, 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 oomps. Tail, 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 tail. Oomps, 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 oomps. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Look at that, moonwalking to the next table. Oh, go, oh, go Dale, go oh. Dale, go Dale. Oh my gosh, she must be exhausted. You want some dessert? Oh, it's, in, it's already in his hips. All right, all right, all right, I get it, I get it. Straight to the hips, I get it. Straight to the hips. A minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. That's what they say. Dale, we'll see you again. We love you. Now, Pete, I'm going to need a review on these. All right. So, for everyone who knows, I do like desserts. I just don't do them because in life you have to give up certain things. I have chosen this life. <laughs> and if you choose this life, it's also hard to choose the dessert life and the snack life. Or else, I will be on my 600 pound life would be a tremendous human being. Well, I also don't have your metabolism. You're just lucky. It's like Lauren, too. Lauren eats 12 meals a day. If I ate 12 meals a day... Yeah, but it's 12 meals a day with, like, 0% fat. She was doing that before she started her diet. Epcot. Um, all right, let's get into dessert. Let's do it. I wasn't blessed with good metabolism. You know what I was blessed with? A face you could spot from really far away. It is very helpful to find him in a crowd. It is. All right, what would you recommend first and last? Like, what should we try? Which I would try, try this one first. All right. So um, we're going to do the plant-based apple streusel 
with the dairy-free ice cream. Because I have notes. All right, you have notes. I'm gonna try a little little bite ski. That's way too much. Yeah, you, you just need some streusel, some apple, and a little bit of a nut. The apples are so gigantic. Yeah, well, it's apple, it's healthy. You can have one apple slice. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna do the, the first one's the vegan dessert, the plant-based dessert, apple streusel, a dairy-free ice cream, uh, the apple streusel. Here we go. And Ryan has notes, so. Just give me a minute. If you wanna share it, like, subscribe. It's gonna take a minute to get through this apple. I have notes too. Cut the apple into smaller pieces. This is ridiculous. Or give us our knives back. All right. We're gonna get a little. This is the plant based. We're, yeah, the plant based one. We're gonna get a little brown sugar, a little apple, a little bit of the uh, crema. Here we go. All right, so I would like the apple to be a bit softer. One to get through. That's what we said. Uh -huh. That's and two, the yeah. chewing factor is that it is hard to get through. It's, it's almost like a, a raw apple. It's it's undercooked. Yeah. It does. It's either uncooked. I don't know if they have to. I don't know. Again, I'm not a plant based baker, and I'm not a baker at all. But I like to cook is either marinate the apples in something that's uh, plant friendly first and then cook it, or this has to sit for longer. But yeah, that was a very, it's a raw apple with a delicious cinnamon flavor and whatever the dairy free ice cream is, it's fine, it's yummy. Yeah, it tastes no, like some no, kind of ice cream. No complaints on anything if it was in the oven for five more minutes. Yeah, the apple I is extremely hard to cut through and eat. It is a bite. It is super textured. I wouldn't say it's fully raw, but it's All right, so now, we're gonna move on to the. Uh, I'll just show you, actually. So, here's what's next. This is the. What was this? This is the regular apple pie. Yeah, apple pie. regular. I don't want a whole slice. I'm just gonna cut a little piece here. I have a question for you, Corey. Is the plant-based apple always a little uh, al dente? Is it always a little? Yeah, I was gonna say the apple is almost like a raw apple, but is that on purpose or is that a choice? It's on purpose. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're loving it, Chip. We are loving it. Got some finger guns. We got some finger guns, but I missed it because we were aiming it at the ice cream. All right. The ice cream is important, too. He just, he's not aware of which way you're shooting. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't, right. it doesn't matter if he's on camera or not, he's always on. He is always on. All right, moving on to the uh, standard non plant based apple pie. Yeah. Very nice. A lot of flavor. This is why I gave up desserts. This is so good. I get. I love this. I actually would love to blend this into a shake and just have it. But I will make a note. But again, this is not a dessert-based person saying this. I feel like these also are just a bit al dente or they rough. Are cooked more than this. A little bit more, but still has a lot of bite. You I, have to I chew them. Appreciate the bite in this one. Yeah, I'm used have, to in they an do apple have pie. A soft mouthfeel and then. Yeah. A I'm used to in an apple pie. Almost that very warm melt in your mouth where like... You don't have to chew an apple pie traditionally. I actually like feeling and tasting the apple better than if I was dipping into, let's say, like uh, something that tastes like an apple sauce. I love texture. Yeah, this is delicious. And again, I'm not a vegan or plant-based person, and there's a lot of delicious plant-based items out there, but this, the regular version does win the battle for sure. No one tried the cupcake yet? I was thinking we could split one. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think we gotta... Uh, yeah, we chop gotta them cut, up. Cut them in half. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I got a clean fork. That's about as good as we're gonna get. I mean, we could ask, but... 
Mickey. I definitely don't want. Do you want the Mickey? I want the Mickey. Eat a Mickey. I'll take a bite out of a Mickey with you. Here, I'll take a bite with you. Well, cheers. Go ahead. You grab that one. I'll grab this one. We got chocolate Mickey's. Uh, I'll be a gentleman. I'll put it on me instead of you. Yeah, this is a communion Mickey. This is communion. <laughs> I don't want to be sacrilege, but. You don't want to do sacrilege with the sacrament? If you do something sacrilegious, you're going again. Yeah, yeah you're... but isn't, isn't the communion waiver called the sacrament? Well, the act of receiving communion is one of the seven sacraments in the Roman Catholic Church. See, I, see I'm not up to it, so I'm just proud that I knew that word. I, I don't want to brag, but I am religious studies minor, so I've had to study all versions of Catholicism. Have this because it's impossible to tear No, you have to do it. I've also studied other Christianities. Uh, I went to a mosque. Well, like, you know, there's, well, Christian religions. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, you have Lutherans, Episcopalians, Protestants. Uh, but I also, for the class, had to go and be in a mosque. Again, go to, Mickey. oh, yeah, there's Nikki. Mickey, you always, you're the best. The fact that you just keep coming by, well, checking in on us. Well, it's not really nice. You know, it's yeah, hard, got, it's hard to say this isn't one of the best experiences here at Epcot. You know? And you did this. It all started with, I forget the rest of the saying. Uh, it all started with, it all started with a mouse. A mouse. Mickey Mouse. It all started with a mouse. Yeah. Thank you for this. This has been the best. What a meal this has been. We're going to finish up our dessert, and I promise we're going to pay this time. I love you. I see what you're doing. Anyway, yeah, I went to temple. I went to a mosque. I, I, uh, it was fun. All the religions. Like I say with food and theme parks, you can't judge them till you've done them all. Oh, this looks like something I am going to regret immediately. So this is that uh, profile of a half a cupcake. I, got, I give you this smaller half. I'm not eating all of this, but I'll try it. So this is a chocolate wood, what, like a chocolate ganache on top? Do we know what this is? Uh, I think it's just chocolate pasta. All right, here we go, to dessert. Would you like to this half? I didn't touch it. No, okay. Wow, that is... You can have as much of that as it works. That is decadent. Yeah, Honestly, it's I'm not good. bad. Just it's take, honest, take it all. I really like it Nobody. because... Really I thought it would be richer and heavier. There's a delicacy to it. And I'm not a... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a dessert person, but, like, I'm going to have a second spoonful because normally, like, after one... I thought one, that frosting was going to be very heavy. I thought the whole... Same. I'll put you guys on camera to review. No, it's all you. You're on camera. Sort of like the band Big and Rich, you don't think you're gonna like it, but I like it. I'm not they sing, well, they got famous uh, when ESPN started debuting. The, oh, snap, hold on. No, no story is worth it until you have some whiskers pop into the stream really quick. Look at this. This is my, this is my dude right here, my dog. Pluto comes. Pluto gives. Uh, I, it's a, it's amazing that this was the character I was most afraid of my entire childhood, and now ooh that kind of tickles. Uh, and now it is the character I've fallen in love with, maybe the most today. Unbelievable, Pluto. What strides we've made from my childhood to you? I mean, Pluto's the best. We're having a day. I might even change my my Disney experience picture. To you. I know. It's it's probably the biggest compliment you can give somebody here at Walt Disney World. That's an honor. That's it is. It is. It's a real honor and it's a commitment because I, I'd have to look into how to change it. I don't even know how to and once it's there, it's there forever. This is my dog. I know. I'm going to do it and then next time I see you, I'm going to show you 
just to prove it. We'll, we'll pinky promise. I love that we just pinky promise. All right, next time you see me on my Disney experience, it's gonna be Pluto, because that's my dog. Yeah, he's gonna mess everything up. See you later, Pluto. Also, I also uh, have no idea what story I was doing. I think somebody threw some mashed potatoes at <laughs> No. <laughs> Look at the wall. Is that mashed potatoes? It's mashed potato time. All right, well, I'm utterly disgusted with myself about the food I had, but this, I will say, I finally feel like I got my money's worth. We had so many things. That was a filling. So filling. I'll return this to you. Anything else I may bring before you? Oh, Corey, I am afraid if you bring anything else. Look at this. We got cards from Garden Grill with Autographs from Chippendale, Pluto, and Mickey Mouse here at Epcot. Everyone gets one. Here you go. Look at that. Put it in the bag. He's so happy he can eat a cob corn sideways. What did you say? He's so happy he can eat a cob of corn sideways. Oh, a cob of corn. I've never heard someone use it in that phrase. It's always like he could have corn on the cob, but I've never seen he could eat corn. a cob of corn. <laughs> yeah, That's, well, he's got the whole thing in his mouth. Ah, good old cob of corn. An ear of corn? An Are ear of corn, corn makes way more sense. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think ear. it's a cob of corn. I appreciate it as well. I think an ear... Yeah. I think an ear might when you're be, going to pick corn, I which I've done, and when you like go to, you you'll know this. It, like if you like go to like a festival and there's corn the on the cob or whatever, but like when you purchase it, you don't say I'll have a cob of corn. You but say I'll have an cob. ear of corn, please. He's eating the whole cob. He's eating the ear of corn. Yeah. No, he's eating the cob and all. I also believe that 2026 is the ear of corn. What's your sign? Corn. 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 <laughs> you know what's the best about hanging out with corn? They'll always see you tomorrow. We already had dessert. All right, let's catch up with some chat. We did catch up before. Now, all of a sudden, everyone saw us reading the chat. I got so many chat. Uh, if you missed any of the characters, they've been here several times. I will say we've been very lucky to see every character multiple times, except for Chip. We got Chip once. You know, he plays hard to get. Hi, Michael Darling. Uh, yes, we saw Pluto, Chip, Dale. Uh, Robert D., the most excited. He's excited to see Pat Mc75. I just turned the camera on you, Pat. The real celebrity. Forget forget the characters. We got Pat Mc75 in the house. Temporary. Temporarily. The lagoon always calls. The, the, lagoon, the lagoon is calling. And no one knows where Pat will go. A Bud Light in his hand and he's still thirsty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm how done. Are you, how are you liking the lagoon now that they've taken your apartment complex back? <laughs> no, first of all, the lagoon goes back to illumination. I'm thoroughly showered. Yeah. All the water fountains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but then he got he got a, a renovation and an upgrade. Hold on, let me put it on you guys so of, I can see uh, your faces. Of at least living space. Yeah, I do. I have more freedom to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To float. Yeah. Although he had quite a living room set up in those barges. I thought the furniture was very much. Yeah, yeah. I've never enjoyed a top row shape of the furniture. <laughs> Who has? There's a market for it for some reason, but not here. I thought I was, I don't know if that's top row. I, see, I love going to top row. Everyone loves being there. It's the after effect. Izzo says, half of my brain is Chip, the other half is Dale. There you go. That means he's one whole rescue ring. He rescues any problem. 
Uh, Albie said, thank you for the plant-based review. You're very welcome. We try to give you as much as we can. I would say at certain restaurants, always ask for the plant-based menu. Sometimes it will surprise you, uh, whether you even need it or not. Like when we went to uh, Hoopty Doo, Lauren asked for other options besides the barbecue. She's not a big barbecue fan. They brought out a piece of salmon. She said it was so delicious. Uh, I tried it. It was also very good, but that's typically not something they bring out at Hoopty Doo. It's a barbecue restaurant. The pescatarian option. But the pescatarian option, the, the salmon was very good. Always ask. No harm in asking. Rosita says, howdy, all. I love the crumbles on top of this. The crumbles are very good. I agree. But he's saying it was intentional, so they did a good job of making it. I agree. Um, well, made to spec. We did dessert. We did my very first time here. You can see we are approaching. Full rotation. Sadly, we are approaching our home base again. Two full rotations. That's a fun thing. Can someone Google that? How long is a rotation here? Two shots of rum. Two shots of rum. How long is a rotation? Well, what Many interactions. Maybe Corey knows. Corey, how long is one full rotation? Roughly it takes about an hour to an hour and five minutes. Oh, so we've been here entirely too long. This is like we're at the hour forty-five mark. I feel like. Sorry, Corey. We're gonna. We, we know we're trying to turn tables. We have all the things. Oh, I have a million of them. I swipe the wrong direction. Um, does anyone want, uh, if I just like Venmo them? I'll Venmo you, is that cool? Yeah. Oh, he's doing one. I was just doing one. Unless, can you... One each card cover four people. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna end the stream shortly. Sorry, everyone. So if you want a quick hello, throw it in now because we're about to say goodbye because the phone is at 10%. The gimbal is less than 10%. And also, we have a lot of streaming coming up. We've done Epcot a million times. I could walk outside and say hi. Where's Jessica? I think it's like 64 but then after the disc. Jessica's here too. We're going to see a lot of Jessica this weekend too. I would like to thank everyone for uh, hanging out, watching, spending your Thursday with us. The Adventures by Carney weekend is officially underway. If you want to go check out the schedule or the agenda, uh, the most accurate up-to-date one will be in our Discord, which is completely free. Just, a, just go to Discord on your phone, your laptop, anything, and search Adventures by Carney. You can jump in. And we'd love to have you. The only requirement is you have to be a positive person. We have over 300 people, really positive, nice, kind people on the Internet. And we don't want to ruin that streak. Uh, there's also will be on the website, adventuresbycarney.fun. We'll have all the updates. If you want to see all the fun we're going to have tonight and throughout the weekend that's not live uh, or before it's edited, you can follow me on Instagram at Official Carney. You can follow me on Twitter at your WDW guy. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney. Like I said, the Discord is Adventures by Carney. We have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun. And I got to give a big shout out to the Patreons. I could not do this channel without the Patreons. And again, I want to give a big shout out to our channel sponsor. There's Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduations, and I know there's a lot of summer birthdays like me. SJG3 collectibles are one of the greatest uh, people, but also companies that you could deal with. It's an eBay story, so you can go to ebay.com backslash str backslash SJG3 collectibles. Or just go to eBay stores and just search SJG3 Collectibles. We're talking everything from Disney, uh, Universal, anything pop culture, anything uh, sports related, uh, 80s, 90s, nostalgia. If they don't have it, they will find it for you or know someone who has it. Vince is amazing. They have over 800 items and new items are added every single day. I might have to send Vince some new uh, autographed wrestling memorabilia. Never mind. Uh, but go check them out. Vince is amazing. Kenny was at WrestleMania. Kenny was at WrestleMania and he loves. Kenny has gone to like almost every WrestleMania. Uh, also, shout out. There's Jessica. We're going to see her a lot this weekend. But Jess, we're saying goodbye because I'm going to come hang out with you. We're going to have some fun. There's Jessica. Unplugged Carney.
Or you're getting unplugged Cardi, which is rare. But here at the meetups, oh, look, you get. Fantastic uh, you like Cardi hat. Look at this. You got the hat uh, and the shirt. Rocking all the merch. There she is. All right. Well, we're going to see her, I'm sure. Well, tomorrow for yeah, sure. I think we'll all Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the like button yet, that would really be amazing. We're only 17 likes away from 200. So hopefully, when I go back and check this stream a little bit later, we'll be at 200. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing 24 hours live at Walt Disney World. So make sure you're subscribed. Tell your family and friends. Thank you for being here. Honestly, I'm very appreciative. I know there's a ton of content out there. I know YouTube is a crazy place full of amazing content. And the fact that you spent a little bit of time with me, it means a lot. Go enjoy all the other fun things we have. Go follow the socials. I'm sure tonight's going to be crazy. I'm sure this whole weekend's going to be nuts. I'll be sleeping around three hours a night until Tuesday. So if you want to see some of the craziness, go follow the socials. They're all listed down below in the description. They're here in the chat. And uh, thanks again to SGG3 Collectibles. Thanks to everybody who's a Patreon, because again, Patreons are the best, including this guy right here, Pat Mix 75. Pat, thanks for making this reservation to be a Patreon. No problem. Look at that. And I think there's no better way to say goodbye than that. So please, uh, the one thing I always ask is please, please, please be kind to one another. You never know what somebody else is going through. Everybody's got a story. And uh, just being a little empathetic and kind can make the world a whole different place. I'll see you real soon. Thanks for being here. Have an amazing rest of your Thursday. And have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Ciao for now.